three, two, one. Oh. Still using the same. <laughs> Rubber glove. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I wonder where my glove will go. Hello. Alpha. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I like your little glove over there. <laughs> it's my strong hand. <laughs> it's my strong hand. <laughs> Okay. The new Hello, intro people. is coming. Here's One proof. of these days. Once I get some music <laughs> from Wimp Blow. And I bet you're wondering what that will do. All kinds of nasty things, you dirty animal. Strange animal. Copyright. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's still not letting me link up to... Because there it, it cares is. not that there you link up to anything. There's no need for you to link up to there anything. There we go. Yeah, there is. So I can turn down the volume on my end when you freaking blast me out with those fucking stingers. No. The stingers are indeed. fine. The Your are ear headphones fuck. are wrong. Oh. Oh, look at you. Getting calls. No, not having your that shit was the five-minute timer for the headphones. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about and just gave them the headphones. Nice. Sick. Nice, nice, nice. Don't you touch anything. I am the gypsy, gypsy king, gypsy. Well, uh, Ferris, how are you doing today? Much better. He's back. I was sick as fuck since last Thursday. Got hit hard with that flu. Hard. It's the uh, it's downside of having children in daycare at all. It's a fucking cesspool of germs. I think Wimplo said that last week. He said... I did. Incubators. Kids, yeah, incubation. Yeah, it's, it was a bunch of bullshit that... Knowingly dropping your kid off, who's sick as fuck, to like nine other kids. Oh, so you that they can go know home they know. It's not their, even like it was an accident. To both their parents and fuck over both their parents and get both their parents sick so they can't go to work and make money. Yeah. It's great. It's great. Yeah. yeah, I have a hard time on both of those because that was kind of the same argument people have for COVID and, like, you not getting the vaccination. It's like, you're the reason why people are getting sick and dying. You know, same kind of argument. I don't believe it. I just think that your immune system needs to get stronger. Yeah. And that's how it happens. Me. So, you know, now you won't get sick from that same thing. Yeah, that but bad. guess what? The flu is ever changing. It is ever changing. Antibodies. And you will get sick. But you know how long <laughs> it's been since I've had a flu? And I've never had a flu vaccination. I Neither just I. get I sick and I let my body fight it naturally. COVID was the last time I had the flu. Yep, yep. I haven't even know. had yeah, I haven't even had COVID as far as I know. I don't, don't have the don't antibodies. Only if I get like super sick though. Um then like the flu goes away, like break a fever and all that stuff. It turns into like a fucking sinus infection, and then that's when I have to go and actually maybe get some antibiotics or something to finally well, kill it. Because you and your brother and sister always used to get sick when you guys were young. It yeah. was like a consistent thing. Out of all the cousins, you three yeah. were always sick. But also, we did a lot more public school than yeah. Well, than me. Yeah, they did public <laughs> school too. Nick and Casey did just yeah, as much public I went school to public than you. School my whole life. I don't yeah. know then. It just so, must have been the area. No, we weren't. It just is your sick. immune system. <laughs> you, I mean, it's immune system thing. It's just natural. Mom and dad had to work. There was no being sick. Oh, Fucking. you guys got sick too. You just did shit when dad you were sick. Was, I feel like your brother was. This Casey got yeah, sick. I think sometimes. he got sick a lot. No. Not all the no, time. No, he just drooled no. like he looked <laughs> oh, sick go, all not, the time. No, let just... me assure you that of the few times in a year, me and Casey would stay home during the school year. Probably closer to three quarters of those times, we were just didn't want to go. Yeah. yeah, like no, we weren't sick very no, often. No, I'm at saying all. Casey just looked sick because he was drooling all the time. <laughs> so he just, <laughs> he just looked sick. 
you know. Yeah. He was smart as shit, but he looked dumb as hell. So it's just the way that it was. It's the uh, I was thinking. Of, of I was world. thinking about this today. Maybe I should wait for this later. How, we're five minutes in. We're fine. All right. <laughs> Why is it that almost all the people with the same like level of mental retardation or like have the same look you know what i'm talking about like why can you look at someone and be like that motherfucker's on no the spectrum? like there's there's a specific look of like people with a i don't know if it's down syndrome yeah i think it's they, down they syndrome got, yeah they got it's that. a very specific but all the do dudes do have almost the same facial features yeah. like structure to their face it's like a clone yeah, it's just part of very the, weird it's that, of the genes that they got. And, but I mean. what everyone else is so different. They almost all look and sound the same. I just noticed it today because I follow two people online who are fucking hilarious with Down syndrome. They do these videos, and I was like, I was going back and forth, and I realized that I was looking at two different people. Going, oh fuck, they look exactly the fucking same. Like, mannerisms, speech pattern, everything, facial structure looks the same. Why? Why is that part of that? That's a good question. I just, it was something that I noticed today, shitting on the toilet, flipping through TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hmm, very yeah. curious. It's, uh, it's crazy how that works. The Spectrum boys are at it be, again. They could be of any ethnicity or anything, too. And it, that's it still seems well, no, hang on a second. I challenge that. Faith. I challenge that. Show me a black person with Down syndrome. Okay. <laughs> uh, have you not seen the person that used no, to be I'm on fucking Beetlejuice? This. Hello. Oh, uh, oh, I don't know yeah. if that's Down syndrome. Uh, that, that <laughs> I'm not sure I'm pretty sure that. it's attached to it. <laughs> it. It might be more than just Down syndrome, but I'm pretty sure there's a Down syndrome attached to that one. Um, I don't know enough about that. To... I'm just saying, like, it was curious it's to rare. me it's that I. It's super I'm, rare. It is super rare. And I think that has a lot to do with, like, the genetics of black people and the unfortunates of, you know, being bred for a certain amount of time. Yeah, it just. Because you have to, as, to, as fucked as this sounds, you have to think about the fact the that day. for the 200, 300 years that America, or not even 200 years. <laughs> okay, so. I don't know why I'm laughing. That's fucked up. But <laughs> 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 I can't help it. This one kid looks like a fucking chunky Biggie Smalls, like a young Biggie Smalls. Hell yeah. <laughs> I yeah, fuck gangster they, with they, they don't dude. have like the, kind of the same features though. You're right. Yeah, it's but not, if you look at the white do, dude, some some kind of. Oh, that one most certainly does. But it's very like it's something in the like this that area. that facial structure, like the eyebrow and the fucking the yeah. mouth and and the nose. Like there's a certain look that's very distinctive, and it's pretty fucking similar between when everybody else has very different features. There's not such a similarity to anybody, not even in your own family. Like, there's certain, like, one, the nose or the eyes or something that's similar to close-blooded family. But you have people from two different families across the fucking planet, and they will look the same because they have the same disease. It's just really weird to me. I don't know why that is. Well, I'm about to look it up because I just went to Google it, and it was the first thing that popped up before I could finish So I'm syndrome. not the only person who's asked nope. this question. Weird. Cool. So I don't feel right. so much like a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, For noticing this. But oh, this put me on Cora. I don't want to be on Cora. I want, like, actual answers. Like, legit answers? Give us the legit answers. We should start a website called Legit Answers and just have ai grab facts things that yeah, but AI pull up the same up. no 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 it has to grab things that are that it grabs from the internet that it has to be the same people saying the same thing over a thousand times and then that's close enough to fact okay <clears throat> i might have just given away a billion so down, dollar idea down syndrome uh they get an extra chromosome so that's what happens when you add an right. extra chromosome 
crazy. And it's just oh, no, no. It's extra chromosome material uh, along with the full set of chromosome from their uh, parents. All the genes they inherit are ordinary ones, which explains why they resemble their families as ordinary children. Hmm. Um, but they all have the same chromosome, this extra chromosome. Maybe that's why they Down look the syndrome same. Down syndrome is always caused by the presence of extra chromosome 21 material in a person's cells. There are three types of Down syndromes. Most people with the condition have regu uh, regular trisomy 21. Much smaller numbers have translocation or mosaic Down syndrome. The only way of finding out what type people have is to do a blood test. 4% of people have uh, the translocation type, one in about three of these, so it's about 1% of people with Down syndrome have inherited the conditions. Uh, there's no known reason for why Down syndrome occurs. Parents who have one child with regular trisomy 21 uh, are thought to have a slightly increased chance of having another child with the condition. But um, I guess it's that's what happens with the extra. When you everybody, if you have this exact same chromosome, that probably gives you those features. Yeah, that's part of the yeah. kind of like uh, part of the gene. Like all geckos in the same species have the same chromosome that makes them that species of gecko and look kind of the same that's the best of my that's the best way i can huh. visualize it huh. humans are fucking crazy man it is nuts i just thought it was crazy because I, I was like i thought i was watching the same person and there's like a slight difference in the mustache that one guy had compared to the other but the face looks almost exactly the same they're both white mind you but and they have the same disease so I thought it was kind of weird that hmm. it's like twins, but it, it doesn't matter whether you have the beyond same parents twins. or not. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like, beyond twins. I was like, damn, that's crazy. Tis crazy. He's whack. But, yeah. Okay. This article lies. <laughs> it says we'll get to this later. It's like we'll tell you why that is, but after you read eighty it, paragraphs, yeah, and then it's not there. Anyway, but it, it does have to do with the extra. Uh, it's an extra copy of the twenty-one chromosome, and uh, they end up with three copies somehow. So, okay, that's where that comes from. We're gonna have to make a pause, boys. Ooh, make the pause. All right, we're back. Technical difficulties. And we're back. Technical. They didn't even know. They just it just blended. They have no <laughs> idea. Other than we're telling them. I didn't have the uh, dummy battery plugged in to my camera because uh, I'm an idiot. He says the one thing we forgot. Yeah, one. I'm surprised right. everything connected back up and didn't give me a whole <laughs> fuck of a time. You know. Error. That's it's what it normally likes to do, is play games. Play games. Likes to placate me with games. Game. Game, game. Games. Games. Oh, I like games. Is, Love yeah, games. I I pull these out. Uh, you ever uh, drank babies out of a shoe? Yes. You want to see my downstairs mix up? <laughs> no, thanks. Do you, do you want to go to a club where they wee on each other? <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's gonna funny hurt that you. <laughs> it's funny that that is just all that old Greg stuff is just now hitting you because I right. watched that shit when I was a fucking teenager. Dude, it was the funniest so shit I'd ever good, seen in my dude. life. It is so <laughs> fucking good. Yeah, I, was like I when, had no when idea. When vines were a thing, I had yeah, I wasn't yeah, even maybe even before. I, I was just getting into computers about that time. Like I was just yeah. getting into technology at that time. I was That's learning yeah. just Pro Tools. That was the only thing I was on computer doing. I wasn't really using the internet much at that time, and uh, that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. So Alrighty. that's why I'm just now finding the old Greg. Finding the old Greg. Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> it is. It's amazing magical. shit, dude. It is magical. It's the man giant. All right. So you ain't got the funk. <laughs> ain't got the funk. All right. You ready for current events? <laughs> It's 
so ungodly loud. Just it's really headphones. not though. I got to show you. Once we're done, I'm gonna pull no, it in. I, I watched You're gonna it. look at the I audio. I literally just watched it today and noticed how low it was. I was. Trying, and that's with compressing. I compressed and built it up by four times. Our voices, I only have to compress up by two. That I compress up by four, and it's still low. If I go any higher, I'm going to peak. Yeah, but peak. <clears throat> <laughs> that's post. And during, you've got the level cranked all the way up. I yeah, can see it on the but screen right now. It, it's recording that. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's, it's loud clipping. in there. It's not just it's loud, not clipping, it's clipping. Though. It's not clipping inside I watched of the clip. audio. There's a red mark right there because yeah, it's clipping. Yeah, but that's wrong, dog. This is <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> you don't know, and that's okay. I understand. Right. But I yeah, am on yeah. the back end all the time. I see. I know. Yeah, I bet you are on the back end. I am the only... If I were to be as gay as you, I would be the one in the back end, yes, because I give. <laughs> I don't receive. <laughs> Unlike all you, you is, that's just re- sitting there. You're right. Gaped open. You don't receive. All you do is take, 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 take. No, I receive. I <laughs> you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You tried to get me, but I'll never be got. I'll never be got. You son of a bitch. I'm over here outside the wall. <laughs> Your ventriloquist tricks will not work on me, ventriloquist. All right. So as of. Uh, about five, six hours ago, Fox News published that the Lakewood Church experienced a shooting with a woman a, who had a child in Joel Osteen's... Is it Osteen or Austin? I always forget. Osteen. No, there's no, no L. L. It's just, just o- 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 Osteen, then, I guess. Osteen, yeah. I think it's pronounced Osteen, Osteen though. Osteen? Um, in Texas. So, I guess a uh, woman Isn't entered... Isn't that the... The mega church where the guy was like, I ain't gonna fly on the can with a bunch of demons. It's the guy who no. looks kind of like Martin Short. Yeah. He's, he's got blue crystal eyes. No, not that guy. Not no, that looks like the him. guy from The Mask. Oh, with the mask. Okay, not that okay, guy. Okay. No, not the demon looking motherfucker. No. Guy was like, this guy's pretty clean cut. Ah, younger fellow. Oh, younger than that old guy. But yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. I, th- I, th- I know which one you're but talking about. But yet another filthy fucking rich, rich person. Yeah. He's the young. Be he's the younger guy. Rich one because of a church. Super rich. Give me your money so I can buy a private jet, so I can spread the Lord's word. Well, that's a the old guy was like, I'm on I don't a know private jet, that, but, yeah. because I don't want to fly on a can with a bunch of demons. <laughs> <laughs> so she entered with a rifle, raised the rifle, uh, an off-duty officer engaged with her, a uh, 57-year-old man was shot in the leg. The child that the shooter entered with was injured and remains in critical condition, but she died. She Hold said up. she had a bomb. What? The bitch took a <sighs> child in with her? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I said. That's what I was clarifying. Here, watch me shoot this place up. God yeah, damn, what an evil bitch. Dude, I don't even know, yeah. That's, that's, that's fuck, fucking crazy, dude. dude. Drag a fucking child into that bullshit. Dude, that's crazy. How much you want to bet that that bitch has nothing but liberal fucking shit all over Facebook and social media? Uh, oh, yeah. Possibly. Well, or she's super she religious zealot thinking. and you don't just, ultra conservative. You don't just walk up into other side somewhere in Texas and start opening fire because I'm sure 90% of the people own a weapon of some sort. Well, yeah, if you're smart enough to think about that. It depends. If you're in Austin, uh, it's a very liberal city in Austin, Texas. So, But there is fights every night on 6th Street, and people get shot all the time out there. So I don't know. It is Texas. So it is is an open state, and it's a whole stand-your-ground place. Like, Dude, it's just – I'm starting to think, dude, fucking – like, with the – as – it's like a big silent push to like take away our gun rights like off in the shadows and they keep distracting us over here with shit and it seems like these shootings are just popping up just the timing of them is so yeah. good dude. they it's always so pop up just as they're convenient. doing legislation on gun control yeah it, it's always or right now four or five mass the shootings the justices just heard a fucking case that has to do with fucking Second Amendment rights, like, and they're leaning in favor of not the government. Yeah. So fucking. Well, not the federal government, but the constitutional governance in which yeah. the Constitution. Yeah, that's what I mean. States. I'm saying, well, the ATF and shit. I'm saying. Yeah, they're they're, they're, prosecuting they're fighting government. the people that are trying to fight the actual people. So, so the officer in this situation here, the off-duty guy, was he the one who put her down? 
Uh, That's what it sounded or, like. It sounded like he blapped that bitch down. Um, says officer. And I'm willing to say that bitch because she brought a child with her. Yeah, yeah, off-duty officers. So up more than one officer. Bitch move. That was off-duty, but. Yeah, you would expect in a church, especially a mega church like that, that there's probably Someone's five back. or six fucking officers, off-duty officers at the church. Like, if you live in the neighborhood, you buddies go to that church, I'm, it's bound to be four or five officers that are off duty at that church on a Sunday. It's a mega church. They have what? How many fucking people in there? 30,000 people that go oh, to that church? No, not, not football no. size, no. No, probably like pro- hundreds. Probably around hundreds, yeah. I'd, hundreds. I'd imagine like maybe three, three, four hundred people. I'm not sure, but for a mega a church? For a mega church? Oh yeah, dude. It's not a The fucking... ones where they do the live streams and shit and uh, they're in a fucking yeah, half dude, arena? Yeah. No, it's not an arena, dude. Think of like New just, Life Center. It looks bigger hold than up, hold up, New hold Life up. Center I'm was gonna like a I'm going to show you what I'm church, thinking dude. of and then you tell me if this is not a mega church. They have fucking arenas like tour of arenas for like, you know, super famous pastors and stuff, but um let's see what kind of um rifle she had. Or no, just, just a, a long rifle. Just a Oh, of course, this is source. the first thing that comes up is the Joel's yeah. thing. Yeah. So, okay, oh, well, that's that good that they name? can't twist it and be like, high capacity AR. Ah. Right. Well, they still can. It's still up, uh, I mean, a long rifle. Uh, Hartford Institute for Religion Research defines a mega church as any Protestant Christian church having 2,000 or more people oh, okay. in average so, weekend attendance. Okay, so 2,000. Yeah, I'll see. This is what I'm thinking of, though, when I think of a mega church is this. God damn. You see how that's a fucking arena. Yeah. And they do these but there's probably every th- fucking Sunday. Yeah. They fill maybe. a fucking arena every Sunday. Yeah, that's fucking crazy, dude. Yeah. So I know I was wrong on the acreage thing. <laughs> but this yeah, thing, right. I feel like I'm I'm pretty fucking close to being right. Look at this church. Yeah. But is that a church, or is that just an event for... Like, no, they're churches. That's what I'm saying. They make these as big fucking event churches, and they live stream them every Sunday. That's where they make their money. And people donating to them every Sunday. But there's thousands and thousands of people that go in these things all the time. Yeah, it must be nice to make minimum of 30 And not have to pay any tax <laughs> on it. Every Sunday. Not have to pay a fucking dime in tax. God dang, dude. So... Uh, Victory Church Association, Every Nation Churches, average weekly attendance, 80,000. Jesus Christ. That's double that's what I thought. That's not at once. <laughs> that's, that's the average weekly yeah, attendance. Yeah, I know. That's so people coming in and out, but still, that's more than I thought that's, was yeah. like the it popu- even, even population of the Even if that's one church. mass a day. Say that's, say that's one mass a day or two masses a day. That's still 5,000 people. Every day. Twice a day, right? That's yeah, because you'd have to nuts. have 10, 10 plus thousand people every day to make 80,000 people. There's only uh, seven days in the week. You know what I'm saying? So you'd need a little more than 10,000 people every fucking day to attend church. Whether that's between multiple masses is ir- irrelevant, but you would need more than 10,000 people to show up to your church every single fucking day. It's just nuts. That's 80,000 minds that you control. They hang on your words. That's fucking nuts. Hey, hey, I just want you to chalk this one up for you. Lazy was right. <laughs> trying to figure out what the... Uh... 80,000 people, dude. That's... It's fucking insane. Do arenas even hold 80,000 people? Like, maybe some big ones, a couple of yes, them? Yes, they'd have to be fucking massive. Massive yeah. arenas, but it's I don't like, think, like, even the football stadium holds... It might hold 80,000 people. Like, maxed. Mm. I don't think the football stadium in Seattle holds 80,000. No, 30,000, I think. That's what I think. I think it's 30 or 40. What's that one? That's uh, Quest Stadium? It used to be. I don't know what it is anymore. It might be fucking Lover's Package Stadium. They can peak at 190K at some fields. 
Jesus. Uh, quest yeah, but that's a few field. Quest, quest Field can, uh, its capacity is 68,740. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it's closer than so I thought. Almost 100,000, yeah. It's closer than I thought. Husky Stadium, 70,000. So think about this that. This is in the world in North Korea. They have 114,000 seats. Out of their stadium. Yeah, because they fucking put guys out in the middle of that stadium and then shoot rockets into them. <laughs> <laughs> and they make everybody show up and watch. Yeah. It's a stadium big enough to fill the population of North Korea in the stadium. They're like, everybody has to attend. Uh, Michigan has the biggest stadium. That's fucking crazy. And it's just for, it's not even for pro. It's not even pro football. It's not even pro football. So 100 and 107K. Which is pretty gnarly. That's a lot of fucking people in one spot. Just to watch a fucking football. I was going to say, I've I've gone to like, uh, Cox Arena was a pretty big stadium in California. COX, Cox. Um, and we did a big old that's church thing. How, that's, or that's how I imagined it was built. We went to a big old <laughs> church thing uh, there. And it was a pretty big stadium. It felt big. And they, like, paraded the Eucharist across the state. It took forever. And I watched so many people <laughs> jump on the fucking uh, religious, like, faint train. Like, <laughs> we're talking, Shit's we're in these fucking no stands, dude. We're in these stands, and they're like a plastic seat on concrete. And young kids and adults are just falling down the stands as the fucking Eucharist gets brought by them. They're just like, and straight, just tum- people were getting taken out in ambulances because they're Mustard having gas. religious fucking experiences because the, uh, one of the Seattle archdiocese guys is bringing the Eucharist around and people are speaking in tongues and shit in this big mm-hmm. ass arena and people are just <laughs> falling down the fucking stairs and off the balcony. I was like, what is go- People are brainwashed. That's when I started going, oh, well, I'm not feeling any of this because I have my own thoughts. But you guys are being told to do this shit subconsciously. You're kind of being pushed towards it by all the people that are like, all right, let's play. Close your eyes. Feel the Holy Spirit. Yeah, it's this whole fucking thing. And if you don't join, you're the outcast. I'm I'm looking around like laughing at people (laughs) because they're old ladies just falling out of their chairs. Young kids falling out of parents with their kids falling down and having to be ambulanced out of here because they felt the Holy Spirit. I was like, I don't think the Holy Spirit like, would no, want you, you to stroke, break dog. your fucking arm. <laughs> you just gave yourself a stroke. It's insane. And the speaking in tongues, that shit's crazy because a lot of them do the same shit. They just make sounds. <laughs> That's the shit that they do. I ain't gay no more. I, <laughs> I don't like men's no more. <laughs> what are you doing, Wimp? Oh, uh, dealing with the fucking woman. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> right? Anyway, moving on. Uh, Biden to skip traditional Super Bowl interview for the second year in a row. Go figure. Conveniently, right after coming out and saying, my memory's, my memory's, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, there's another one. Damn, people are dying. Yeah, I mean that happens a lot around here. I barely notice it until you guys stop. <laughs> I've just it's become second yeah, nature. This, it's all night and day. It's fucking. I'm checking dude, out a new apartment tomorrow. I seen this Biden shit coming from a mile away. They're gonna use it as an excuse once he's all fucked up and way too old. Be like, oh, he's too old. Can't charge him on nothing. Yeah, I mean, that's what they're doing with this uh, special report that just came out. Uh, Everybody's claiming that he's able to, uh, the news came out right after that report, and everybody's like, well, I speak, I spoke to Biden. All this fucking talk about Trump not being fit for office, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Well, all these people are trying to claim that they've spoken with Biden not on camera and that he speaks just fine he's clear is precise as day he's one of the smartest people i know i've heard on any of the subjects that i ask him I'm like okay brilliant yet he can't speak on camera in front of the american people with a fucking teleprompter any accuracy every, every time. time he has a card telling him 
Exit stage left. Shake this person's hand. Come over here. Shake this person's hand. Three get steps the fuck to the right. Off. Right. Can't even do that with a car that tells you exactly what the fuck to do. I don't know why the media doesn't have a camera guy ready to go for when fucking Biden goes to leave and then turns around and goes back to the podium. <gasps> fucking just the the look. I want to see the look of utter fucking terror. <laughs> the uh, the special report though. Let's get into that. Yeah. Ooh. So he he isn't gonna speak at the Super Bowl. And his reason is going to be because he's too busy helping Americans uh, get more money, pay less in food, pay less in rent, pay less in gas. All the opposite of what he's actually truly doing, or whoever puppet master is. It's right. Yeah, I think it's Jill ear. Biden. I think she's got her hand right up his ass. No, she's I just a. I think Obama. She's the one keeping him alive. She's a doctor. She's, she's the one that's She's a doctor. Him. She's a English <laughs> doctor. Dr. Jill Biden. She's in there keeping him alive. Jesus. That's what she's doing. She's the one feeding him the fucking all no, the methamphetamines she's probably, in the morning. She's probably the. Here, Joe, sniff this. She's the she's secondary the puppet. Caretaker. She's the middle, like, she's the that's string she's to the, the puppet. Fucking, oh, I guess it would be she's more She's not of the a, one pulling the string. Nurse. She is the string. She's the living nurse. She's, no, I'm saying she's the one puppeting him around. No, and that's what I'm telling you. You're wrong. No, there's people telling her how to puppet him around. She's the that's strings. That's irrelevant, but what I'm saying is that she's the reason that he's still able to speak and do anything because she's the one maybe. feeding him the meth in the maybe. morning. No, that's what's going on. <laughs> yeah, it's not a maybe. That. You're wrong. It Shut could be up. someone else. <laughs> so I'm not saying you're wrong. No, it's happening. You're I'm wrong. saying it's you're, the you method. You are wrong. The, the method, method is probably yeah, wrong. Yeah, because we've already discussed this. There, And I I told you this because you know nothing. We know that was Joe's that cocaine. There, no, it's not even that. <laughs> Joe is getting shoved meth powder up his fucking nose and in his mouth they're just blowing it in his face because he's too old to be able to shoot or do anything they had to make a new yeah, mask does this look like okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> and he's just like oh i can kind of speak blah, 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 blah. and that's about how far he gets and then she has to fucking dust him again just keep dusting him she's just got a fucking little dust bag <clears throat> magic powder like tinkerbell She's got a fucking wire, a Bluetooth button for fucking like intravenous meth. That would be. <laughs> I would. I would not be shocked if that's what they have. Like, why is the president fucking... doing backflips across the tarmac? It's too much. Too <laughs> much. His fucking button's Who broken. Who cranked the fucking toes? Oh, he's ripping his clothes off so and trying fucking... to enter a plane through the side. No, but I I do love how. Uh, the second, like, because no, they said we, the whole time, they're like, go ahead, it's going to be good. He ain't going to find nothing. He ain't going to find nothing. He finds something, and they're like, yeah, he's not credible. Yeah. Yeah, they said that he's mentally unfit to stand trial. They all used the same word, too. They all used gratuitous. Watch every single interview yeah, fucking, fucking all talking, talking about heads. it. They're literally gratuitous told what to say that's why you got those things that like joe rogan was posting those videos of all these yeah, news stations saying the, the same, same shit. exact they get the same, fucking thing yeah. over and over there it gets sent out how, and what i was saying about it's not just a string that goes into jill it's multiple because there's a what did we find it was seven or six top families 13 13 or that's right 11 or 11 or 13 yeah it's 11 or 13 13 um, top families that run the world. It's the mm-hmm. cabal. And, you know, they're the ones that are really running the show. I'm saying, though, that Jill has got her actual hand up his ass <laughs> and moving his lips. Like a because puppet? he's not alive. I don't think he's really... A, I think no. it's a day weekend at Bernie. At yeah, yeah. Fucking weekend at Bernie. They're just propping this dude up. <laughs> Corn pop. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I think is going on. And uh, oh, it kicked me. What he's just fuck? starting to decay now. So now that he's decaying, I need that excess code again. Damn it, Chuck! How dare you? Oh, I said it had ended. Yeah. All right. Your session has expired. All right, boys. I'll cut this out at twenty-one on the next sec. Um, nine four two three.
9242-9743. Are you in? Wait, no. Bend over and spell run. <laughs> Try, that. <laughs> <laughs> Try that again. Uh, nine, four, two, three. Okay. Nine, two, four, two. Okay. Nine, seven, three, four. Uh. It says it's invalid. Bullshit. All right, I'll generate another code. All right, let's try this one. Five, nine, zero, eight, zero, seven, two, seven, six, three, Six eight. Seems to be doing something. And we're in. We're back. All right. All right. And that took two minutes. All right. Okie dokie. Welcome back. Okie dokie. Technical difficulties for wind blow has been trained yes. wrong. And things so. like to disconnect. Wrapping that all up, Joe what, Biden's what a fucking you? criminal. Yeah, and and they stated that they had found wrongdoing, that they just didn't find that it would be worth prosecuting. The same Fuck bullshit that. that they said with Hillary Clinton and treason. her emails. Treason. Exact same thing Your that James Comey said. Allowing an invasion. Yeah, well, that's a whole different topic, but... Death. Is what is deserved for treasonous piece of shit. Yes. People such as that. Well, I mean, that is what treason, like the outcome of treason, is to be hung and quartered. Drawn and quartered? Drawn no. and quartered. Well, drawn and quartered is hung and quartered. It's the same thing. Drawn is hung, and then quartered is chopped up or pulled apart. Yeah. It's all fucked. Everything's fucked pissing me off. It's pissing off many, many, many Americans. We're sick of this fucking shit. What's going on? And you're and on a of list. Of course you have to fucking do everything legally. I mean, yeah, to a degree. Yeah, it is uh, <clears throat> kind of suspicious how that's all going down. Kind of like how it's kind of suspicious. It's been three years and we haven't been able to find the January 6th bomber. Weird. Hmm. hmm. Darn. If only, if only. That was their that was their plan B to this whole fucking setup insurrection. Oh in my fuck opinion. yeah! It was all fucking. <laughs> it's all planned. You know that those fucking phone like, calls just had big shit eating grins on the other side. Like, <laughs> like this is going better than planned. We still want to do that, boss? Nah, nah, we're good. <laughs> Let these fucking idiots walk through here. They were able to find people via cell phone pings. For every one of the prosecutorial cases on Anybody that was anywhere in D.C. at the time, they could fucking track your ass down if you had a phone. They had drones on a lot of them. But this motherfucker like, tr- with the pipe bomb them. takes a phone out at the bomb. He's just sitting there texting at the bench. They don't even fucking... <laughs> they can't find anything. Oh, f- phone data's corrupt. You'd think that right. dude would be just a massive hero for stopping yeah. an assassination Epstein's. attempt on Kamala. Epstein's fucking cameras... Stopped working miraculously as the guards miraculously disappeared. Um, They're gone I for mean, that exact it, moment. It's all this. When you look at all of those mishaps that just so happened to happen to help one side of a political party, you start to scratch your head and go, "Hmm, why is it that Trump is being charged for the same shit Biden was, but he's not mentally incapable of standing trial, but Biden is?" But he's mentally incapable of being president, but Biden isn't. Oxymoronic as fuck. Kind of doesn't make sense. And they expect you to be able to go, oh, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Because you say it does. Right. You say it makes sense. It makes sense to me. That's what happens when you're in a fucking cult. Yeah, it's more than a cult. It's like extreme religious zealotry. Be awake. And the other thing that's crazy is that they have pictures and video all the way up to the planting of the bomb. There's a fucking PTZ camera, which is controlled by a human being that just so happened to be looking the other way. Yeah, and when did this even come out? 
Oh, it came out like the day after the fucking Jan Six thing. Like, within I haven't a week. heard yeah. much about this. Within a week, bomb John, shit. Dan, yeah, Dan I've Bongino's heard more about, about the it, fucking, fucking guy in the headdress than I have about this bomb. Yeah, you want to learn some shit about it? Go listen to some Bongino. He's I yeah, listen to Bongino. Fucking Gino. good insight because that was his fucking job was yeah. s- security detail. Yeah, I mean it makes sense. I'm just saying, why is it that that's something I haven't heard in most of the other? news outlets they like snuff it out well not even news outlets but like why is it that tim dylan and fucking uh tim pool and uh i haven't heard it on joe rogan with all the about. people that they've had on or even some of the leftist people or breaking points i haven't heard anything about it on breaking points or any of that but they've talked about every other thing right. that's happened with jan six why is this one not talked about and why is it that it has the same kind of M.O. that the guy that told people to go in and everybody called a fed? Yeah. Oh, just, Ray Epps? Yeah. yeah. He just got some little community service. Yeah, it was know, like, what, three months of community service or something? the only person actually inciting violence. And he was the only one, on the Democrats, camera. that <laughs> like, that f- they fought for and said that you need to stop picking on him. Yeah, and he's, he's threatening legal action against people for using his name and all sorts of shit. I mean, I think it was on the Senate floor. That they were like, you need to stop picking sentence. on him. Six months. Yeah. And everybody oh, else got, what, guy, six years for not even being there? The freaking QAnon shaman, he got four years for kicking his feet up on Nancy Pelosi's desk. What did the, the dude from the Puerto Rican, I believe... Oh, Enrique uh, fucking uh, is a Proud white Boys? supremacist. Yeah, Enrique, uh, what the hell is his name? And he wasn't that's even like, at like the Capitol. Fucking ben and Shapiro didn't he a Nazi. get six years or some <laughs> fucking like, crazy no, thing? No, it was like 20 or something like oh, that. Oh, fuck. And he wasn't even at the goddamn Capitol. He wasn't even in the state. The fuck? Magic. Yet, the guy that's telling people to go in and being called a fed by the group of years, people. Dude. Holy shit. That's a whole different political attack. Conspiracy. Dude. And he wasn't even there. But Ray Epps gets six months and he's on camera being called a fed for telling people to enter and fight. Two days in a row. Yes. Mind you. And, before, and pushing people and to of. do it. Hard. He, well, you see a video where he goes up and walks walks up to a dude and he whispers into his ear, and then all of a sudden you see this fucking guy go and rip down one of the gates and start charging into the Capitol. Yeah. It's like, hmm. He's probably like, hey, man, I'll fucking and they won't, this much money to go and do this. Right? And they won't say whether he's a Fed or not, works for the government or not. They say, oh, we can't. We, we wouldn't be able we to tell you that, that information. information. Like, uh, yeah. we, we all the, know it's what was the, the, This is the same government that put it, freaking so uh, eight out of the ten guys or whatever the it was. Case? Yeah, to yeah. fucking get two guys, two guys that they convinced, the rest of the FBI agents convinced two guys to kidnap Whitmer that they didn't want to do. They were convinced and coerced into it by the FBI. And nothing came of it. I'm pretty sure those guys got out. Those guys are but probably dead. <laughs> probably now. <laughs> yeah. It's insane. Damn. You pregnant? Mm-hmm. I mean, Over here snacking he like a fucking a prego chick, dude. You don't know who I the just daddy keep, is. I just keep seeing this guy with food in it at his mouth. I'm like, God damn. I'm about to uh, burst. Yeah, I'm about to create mitosis and just split into a whole nother bean. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get my calories up to do that. Like so for me, I need to eat a lot. It's because I got to feed my fucking tapeworm in here. He just he's hungry. Dude, I wish <laughs> I've, I've thought about eating a tapeworm. Keep it skinny. <laughs> so I stay skinny. Dude, <laughs> my ancestors of the Neanderthals guaranteed they had them. <laughs> guaranteed. So my body's probably adapted to have one. That's why I stay fat without Adapt, one. Overcome. It's like I need a symbiosis relationship with the tapeworm. <laughs> in order to be proper. Yeah, this whole this whole Jan Six shit is just fucking. It's all a bunch of bullshit. It is and political war- warfare. It's just them warfare, trying to find actually. ways to attack Trump and his character to keep him from winning the election. But they're finding out and they're scared as shit that it doesn't matter what they do. No, they they're fucked gonna up. Keep doing the it, more they that they, keep yeah, pushing oh, and fuck, pushing yeah, and pushing, but it's just gonna, gonna make them look worse and worse. Even CNN 
the other day. They had to admit some shit. They had to <laughs> call out Biden and Kamala Harris on lies, which was insane. Yeah, I never thought I would see it. Fucked. They had they had them fact checked because they were saying talking about the case, and Biden was like. Uh, every one of the, uh, the fucking documents was locked away in a cabinet that was locked. No, I didn't know I had them. And then they show pictures of it in a box. They were like, no. So there were many pictures of it just in an old, as it's described, a home box sitting in the garage open. And he spilled a lot of top secret shit to his ghostwriter. And then the ghostwriter deleted those conversations trying to hide the fact that... And do you think he's going to get charged with anything? Nope. Let's see. Uh, nope. Two-tier system here. Right. Just like when Hillary's staff deleted all those fucking Blackberries and smashed them. Yeah, just with a hammer. Literally. Smashed them with a fucking hammer. <laughs> smashed them. <laughs> Not to mention the 60-plus thousand emails that they tried to wipe off of the server. Bleach bit, yeah. <sighs> so oh, insane shit, man. So, crazy. so like either revolution's coming or we're all just gonna have to deal with the fact that the world sucks so the world does suck i mean that's just the way that it is uh did you guys see that they broke ground and like are really putting forth some movements to this uh neon city oh and the the um in the desert there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're serious about that shit. Dude, they've already trenched, like, the line part yep. for the, the first section. That it's they're, becoming a reality. They've already put down a bunch of, uh, what do you call them, pillars, like, down in the, the ground. The foundation. Yeah. Well, they have to put fucking, yeah. basically, well, giant sand. Yeah, pillars down into the ground. And then they build up off of the top of that. But they, it's a huge undertaking. And so they're making this giant city called The Line. And it's part of the Neon How many miles project. long was it? It was it's like, like a, a 172 kilometers long. Is that in Wichita Falls? What? No, 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 no. No, this is in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, it's, it's across the... Oh. Look up The, the Line. Yeah. That shit's pretty crazy. It's fucking nuts. It, you know, I mean... I, I think, think it's pretty it's pretty cool that they're trying to do it, but it's kind of weird at the same time. It's basically a prison never, city. Yeah, exactly. They're making it so that you don't got to go nowhere. Everything's there that you need within five-minute walking distance. Yeah, they're supposed to be five-minute cities. You're supposed to be able to get from one end of the city to the other like, end of the entire... What was it, like 22 minute? Yeah, 20 like minutes. Yeah. Because it's supposed to have a high-speed train that just shoots straight down and back. Yeah, that shit's crazy. A lot of fucking money involved in that. Yeah, the craziest part is that... $500 like, billion. Dollars. $500 yeah. billion. Uh, I was listening to Tim Pool and them talking about it, and uh, the one dude that's in the band, the lead singer that's oh, on uh, there. Fuck, I can't remember Phil. his name. Yeah. yeah, he was talking. He's like, so I'm looking at it on the map here, and it looks like, like they're they're building it right next, like right across is where the the Houthis stay. The Houthis are going to bomb the fuck out of this thing as soon as it gets built. <laughs> like, you just built the fucking pack everybody into it. There's supposed to be 9 million people living into this thing. And just... God damn. And it's, like, right across the water. <laughs> like, uh, if you fuck up and piss them off at any point, they're just going to fucking bomb you. That glass house is coming down. Yeah, and that's the whole outside of it's going to be like this double mirrored glass. So like it's going to be mirrored on the outside. They're just going to get pissed from getting it. fucking sunburnt from that. Like fuck, dude, it's going to be bright as shit. Yeah, oh, fuck yeah, it's going to refract, reflect, refract. Reflect. Well, I think there's going to be refractions too, just like bounce the bounce off that is going to be like beams of light coming oh, off of it. Just any kind of you're life see that cooked lives lines, outside. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> cooked cook laser everywhere. lines from the fucking sun <laughs> coming down. <laughs> Ding. This is our protection system. Once you're in, you don't get back out if the sun's out. You'll get toasted. It'll be like so a thousand gonna years. So this city's essentially going to be one long-ass rectangle? Fucking line, yeah. One huge fucking tower on its side. Yeah, it's supposed to be like 200 kilometers wide kilometers wide or something like that and 
really fucking long. And yeah, that's just... Imagine how yeah, long it's taken them de- to A lot of desert they're going through, man. Yeah. yeah, but they've already... If you look, you can see that there's photos of, like, where they've drudged up the fucking yeah, I line see of that. it already. That's what I'm saying. And they started putting those pillars down I mean, You can't down even see the, the end ground. of it in the photo. No, it's just, it's oh. just fucking goes Far on the eye can Farther than the eye can see. It's a, it's a concept. It's a concept. I mean, everything's supposed to be there. It's supposed to be all your businesses, everything. There's going to be an airport gonna... and hub that comes in and out of there. Yeah, so you're supposed to be able to get supplies. You're you know, supposed like... to be able to get anywhere in that region within 20 minutes from a, a flight. Yep, everything you need within five minutes and then some. Yeah. And there's a port there. There's like a ocean port that they're going to be also building a port city. Part of this whole neon thing. There's actually three mega cities that they're going to be building. But this is the first of them. And this is the first of its kind in projects. You're going to have all those TV screens right everywhere. Welcome to the line. Yeah. It's going to be your part to pick up after yourself. Or we'll fucking kill you. But <laughs> 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 well, the thing is, they could just lock the lock you in your little fucking cubicle in your pod. In your pod. No, here's the scary part, dude. It's just a giant prison city. They lock you in and then turn off the fucking air. Everything. Yeah, but Sorry, the air is goes up top. Like, there, it's open. You don't think that there's ways to cut ventilation to where you could suffocate someone? Well, I mean, yeah, if they're in their pod. That's what specifically. I'm saying. Or what if the entire fucking It's fucking open thing. to the top. That's what oh. I'm saying. It has an open top. It's just got walls on either side. That's stupid. I don't know if it... The what whole idea is it it's supposed to be open to nature. I, maybe they can close it off, but then you go in your All fucking pod. All these pictures pod. show a roof. Oh, well, the ones I saw didn't have a roof. It was just open top. It's supposed to be and it's supposed to be like, there's going to be like forests, pounds. like little forests and stuff built inside. It's going to be a mix of nature and technology. It's the biodome. That's kind of, that's what they were talking about on Tim Pool. They were like, you ever seen Biodome? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of what it's going to be like. That's pretty good. Yeah. Shit's oh. wild, man. Uh, they've, they started breaking ground and doing this stuff two years ago, but. I thought it was just going to fail. Like, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of, like, having Them to get the right rich. people. Oh, dude, they're rich, and he's the king of Saudi Arabia. There is nobody higher. He says, and Do it's this. done. Yeah. That's it. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It doesn't matter how many lives are at risk. In But they've already built little cities around around for the construction workers to be able to like they just got all that done and stuff so now there's like little towns in the desert of construction workers to build this city until it's done and then they probably get it they're talking about it being done in like the 2030s yeah they dude they push it up fast now yeah but this is a fucking one of a kind this is supposed to be if you there's a documentary on the architect people that they hired to do this thing and they're like, this is, it's a lot of guesswork on stuff. Like, we're trying new things. We've never, they're concepts that we're using, like, AI to test whether or not the concept works. And then we have to put it into practice and see if it will actually work. Put it into the real world. So, that's going to be fucking nuts. Nutkin futs. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Today is the Super Bowl. Mm. Ah, yes. San Francisco's ahead by three with in the second quarter. Five minutes till halftime. Oh, so this ain't gonna. It's not even a battle. It's just a one of those one-sided games going on. So far, I don't know. I'm trying to find fucking. If they're ahead by three, on. that's. Oh, you. That's gonna be so fucking hard unless you pay for ESPN Plus or something like, or you got YouTube TV. With the ESPN package, which I do not. I have premium, so no ads, but... Oh, I do have ESPN Plus. Well, it should be on ESPN Plus. I've only ever had ESPN Plus to watch Joey Els' fights. I'll get it and then delete it immediately. (laughs) (laughs) Cancel that subscription real fast. Yeah. Well, let's move into hobbies. Okay. Okay. Let us see what we have here. 
your hobby. <laughs> my hobby? Your hobby. Uh, my hobby actually got got some stuff done this week. We had to rearrange the studio space to freaking make sense and be able to start filming and nice. get all that going. Got the last little bit of downloading stuff I needed to do on the Mac Mini. So it is fully working, but I got to figure out somehow I got some so a couple of programs that didn't load on the external hard drive they're on the actual hard drive so i'm running a little heavy on my storage right now i like to keep it around like 60 but it's at like 150 right now so <laughs> i gotta figure out what program i downloaded remove it get it on the external storage but going back through had to redo all my templates that that was sweet that's always fun and redo all my fucking chains and all that shit everything preset that i've been spending the last year and a half two years working on building fucking gone, gone yeah. yeah starts so. fresh it really does suck it really does suck <laughs> it's super inconvenient by the next time you'll just give up and you'll do it as this you time go. i'm writing it down as i go so now that's, i've got a physical that's smart i didn't ever do copy. that i just fucking gave up on the third time when i switched my to my next computer i was just like you know what <laughs> no <laughs> well, i I'm refuse hoping, so the way mac works is that Pretty much every seven years is when you want to upgrade. So I've got a 2024 or 2023 Mac. So I probably will upgrade sooner than 2030. But like if I had to, I could wait that long. But I'm gonna want. I could already tell that I'm gonna want more RAM and shit. Like it, it's lightning quick, but there's still like when it goes to recall already processed stuff, that's where the RAM starts to show its weakness. So. Should have gone with 16 gigabytes instead of 8, but it was cheaper to go with 8, and I wanted to see what the M1 chip could do so I could figure out if I'm going to stick with Apple and do the silicon thing or if I'm going to get a PC and build it. Uh, I'm going to stick with Apple. That's my main thing with buying anything that's maybe electronics or something. You just buy the fucking best one that they got now so you don't... Yeah, the problem with that is it's obsolete in a year. Expensive, but yeah. Yeah. Next year, they're going to have something 10 Just times better for half the, the price. Oh, they're already on the M3 chip. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's fucking... I didn't even know that. The last one I saw was M2, and I, I tapped out. I was like, the M2 came by the time I started watching shit on the M1. And I was like, oh, you're already way further ahead than I'm going to get, well, they so did, fuck you. They, it seemed like it was kind of rapid succession on that. Like, they came out the M1, and I don't even think two years later no, it was the it M2. it was quick as fuck. Like, and then the M3 just got released, and... Yeah, they're getting faster and more efficient, so I'm hoping that my next computer will be, like, the last purchase I need to make for 10, you know, 10, 15 years. I've had this computer now for about four years, and it's just now starting to, like, certain things are getting obsolete, but it's been through hell. (laughs) This PC's been through hell. It's gone from shops, in the back of my car, from place to place, up and down stairs, in and out of places, in and out of hotels everywhere with me it's gone thousands of miles across the more than any land. desktop should move and then any <laughs> desktop should ever move and i haven't other than some ram recently i hadn't replaced any of the parts i just added a little more ram because it was slowing down but i found out why it was slowing down it wasn't even the ram the slowing down was caused by youtube and ad blocker and this whole thing that they're doing with the ad blockers and uh, burning up people's CPUs. I guess it's the ad blocker that's causing the issue, not so much YouTube in the more detailed information that I've gotten recently. But uh, either way, the combination between the fight of YouTube and ad blockers and YouTube not wanting people to use ad blockers on YouTube was causing people's like CPUs and RAM to get fucking bogged out. So if you turned off your ad blocker on YouTube, all of a sudden, PC ran great, and all the bogging on my CPU and RAM just went away. Got it. Crazy. What? He got the game. I got the game. Yeah, I don't give a shit about football. It's on ESPN At Plus, all. right? No, it's not Paramount my kind Plus. of sport. Oh. Of course, Paramount. Taylor Swift's there. I like to watch sports that require two balls. I just don't like seeing dudes grab each other's asses or tight pants, sports. <laughs> rubbing each other's nuts. I mean, that's how they get the ball from the other guy. He literally goes up and smacks the back of his hand up against dudes' taint nuts, and it's like, hey, hey, bud, hey, hey bud, hey. hey. 
Ooh. Hey, I'm going to tickle your gooch, and you're going to give me your ball. On the third tickle. Uh, San the Francisco's ball. up a field goal and a touchdown. I hope that Taylor Swift's boyfriend lo- just loses, and I hope that her record sales just plummet. That bitch has got way too much power in the oh, industry. Oh, we're so fucked now. Bro, you just fucked us. Bought out by fucking Hold Soros, up. bro. Skirt. Right. You just you fucked got, us. Yeah, Soros Swift and fucking Pfizer. We could say Pfizer, anything Kelsey. in the world. <laughs> and I'm okay with it. But you just pissed the Swifties off, dude. You know what they do to people? <laughs> Have you ever seen what a body Here of a human happens? Like it's what happens to a human's gorgeous. body when it's left out in the woods and ants get to it? <laughs> That's the Swifties, dog. They pick you apart, little piece by little piece. They're uh, fucked, dude. One person talks shit about Taylor Swift, and they ruined his entire fucking career. But I didn't talk about Taylor Swift. I talked about. Her and they talked about his boyfriend too. They made a cartoon of like and craziness, and the Swifties oh, went and that. ripped this dude apart. He left YouTube. You seen that little crazy video where she's up in the stands, and he's like, and. Kelsey's down at the bottom. He's like, man, I think I'm going to break up with her. And somebody that stands hears her. She's like, yeah. Oh, she's going to break up with me. And then it just spreads, 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 spreads like a yeah. wildfire and gets up to her. And she just like goes. Ah! And she <laughs> takes off into the dark. And that's <laughs> Mr. Meat. So that's that's a meatloaf or something like that on uh, YouTube. That and hilarious. like he left YouTube for a while because like they, the they doxed his house. Oh, they bet. death threats his, like people were showing up on his lawn and burning shit. And it's like fucking crazy shit. Just because he made a cartoon that was hilarious as fuck. Yep. It's usually how it goes. Dude, no, no, no. I don't think you understand. It's a Taylor cult. Swift's people are psychos. They are beyond insane. They're they, government plants, dude. There's Scientology, <laughs> and then there's the Swifties. Swifties. <laughs> And now they're coming after you, too. Now they got a jihad <laughs> on you, too. We wash our hands of limp low on the Swift. <laughs> I hope the other team wins. I hope Taylor Swift's team wins. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, yeah, give us a career. The Kansas the City Swifties. The only thing that sucks, dude, <laughs> the only thing that sucks is, like, there's no winning here. Because even if KC loses, that means San Francisco wins. Won. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and that hurts me almost There's more. nothing good about the Super Bowl. Yeah, the my, problem my with us. is all about the Niners. Yeah. He? Yeah, he seems like he would be. He's from that area. So yeah, a lot of my buddies like are from the Niners. Yeah. I mean, a lot of my buddies are Niners fans, huge Niners fans. Yeah. But then a lot of my friends are Seahawks fans, too. And yeah. it's a... It's a, it's a, it's a bloodbath. It's <laughs> a... Yeah. It's a rivalry. It's, it's a thing. to say the least. <laughs> but if they win another fucking Super Bowl, you're not going to hear the fucking end of, like, th- every 49ers fan I know goes, how many is that on the pat? How many patches we got on the arm there? Right. How many patches? That's five, six, whatever the fuck it is. It's just some god-awful number of Super Bowl wins. You add another one to it, we're just going to hear another number for the next, until they win the well, next Well, they got Super rid Bowl. of... Uh, Pete Carroll's no longer the head coach. I know of the Seahawks. Yeah. They got this other guy now. Yeah. I mean, the he's, Seahawks he's are there. going through some transitional phases yeah. since uh, they lost the Beast. Dude, like they, beast mode yeah. is what made the Seahawks popular. Yeah. No one that gave that a fuck fucking, about uh, the Seahawks before Beast Mode and, like, that, that group. The Legion uh, Boom. Yeah. yeah. No one gave a fuck. Now, all of a sudden, everybody's a big fan. Yeah. Know? I didn't give a fuck, and then I was Stopping out at the Seahawks the bandwagon during the shit. I was a bandwagoner, but it's because my friends were bandwagoners, and they're like, let's go to this fucking parade, and I'm like, I don't give a shit, but let's go. Yeah, but we were kind of on our way, because when we had uh, I don't Hasselback and Alexander, fucking, we were doing some shit with them, too. Yeah, for a little while, but That's how we I got mean, to fucking, uh, I honestly know nothing about football. I give no shits about, uh, to me, it's the most homoerotic sport <laughs> it really is i mean every dude is like straight face almost in some other guy's ass just waiting for the line to snap they're just That's sniffing fucking true. dude it There's the qb one guy. is That's right the only one guy. guy yeah and then you're crashing into each other and somebody when you you tackle people guys usually slide the, down and the then their slaps, face man. in <laughs> ass and fucking <laughs> arms like, around legs that's what it is most of the time, dude. That's what it is most of the time. Unless you get one guy that just straight up upper tackles people and 
kills them. I don't do that <laughs> nut to butt shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gay. I don't like men's no more. <laughs> I don't tackle from the top side. Was that was that here that we watched that yeah. fucking I ain't gay no more? Yeah. <laughs> and we found out I am he's delivered. still so gay. Yeah, I'm delivered. 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 <laughs> I don't like men's no more. Oh, awesome. I don't want to wear a purse. I don't like makeup. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, working on the Mac Mini, got the studio rearranged. Uh thing cranks out fucking i can do a lot more than i could with this where's our fucking intro music i'm working on it i've been looking up how to do dubstep Uh, shit so many i don't want dubstep what the fuck it's not it's not gonna be dubstep it's not gonna be dubstep but there's there's this thing from dubstep i want to use but it's like that like the whoops the whoops whoops yeah 808 no, Synthesi- it's not an 808. It's 808 synthesizer signal. So you get the signal, you drop it down to the 808 sound. It's a it's a constant signal. That's not the same. And signal then you I'm put it about. through a winder, and then you can go. No. No, that you can do it. I can teach you. Not the, I'm a master. You're talking about an oscillator, and no, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm that's talking. what you just said, though. You no, said I want to fucking. It's not. Wub, wub. I don't. I can't make the noise that I'm trying to make. Well, it's learn to make, make the noise. Build. I'm not a beatboxer. God damn it! Learn to beatbox. What did you do? What did you do this week, huh? What did you do, big man? I worked B, out. B. I worked B, out. Getting B. Ready for that five K in May. B. Coming up real B, soon. Oh yeah, you B, saw my videos. B. Reposted B, on the Lazy Photographer <laughs> channel. Uh, I'm starting the alphabet series experiment again. Oh god! So I I captured Ten all the I captured all the old ones, and I reposted them on Lazy Photographer channel with a little bit of an upgrade. 4K, all nice. <laughs> I added a little sauce on some. I made some shorts. Uh, I started this morning working on. The F video. <laughs> um, Finally getting the F I'll video. I'll be finishing that tonight. And uh, when you get the G, I want to see our glove everywhere. Okay. G for glove. I can't promise you that. But I thought about F. I was going to find the fountain, a fire hydrant and shit, and just like me in random different places. But <laughs> it would be a little different than... And maybe it will build up to that as we go slowly. Because as you see in those videos, there's more stuff that's added into the scenes. But we're in a different place now. So, And I don't have all those things to re-add into the scene. So I'm going to have to add new things to scenes and start building off of that. That's that's the hidden thing. Is like You'll see new ads, additive things into the scene. Uh, which will keep you coming back. And it's if you're trying to learn English, it's very helpful. <laughs> 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 so it's educational um and i'm trying to make money so go watch all 10 minutes and 10 seconds <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> every one of them it should be about 10 minutes 10 seconds hey dude honestly i was watching it for a second and it took me a second to figure out what was going on and i was like oh this motherfucker because <laughs> it looked like a different video like the footage was so much better I was like, oh, it must be like something for a new part he figured out or something like that. And it's just the same. <laughs> B, B, B. Uh, should we show people a sample? I would. Should we show people a sample? I think I'll, we should. I'll show you guys Prepare a sample. Prepare your mind. Uh, the mind sample. blowing reality. While he does that, Trevor, since you've been gone, what have you done? Uh, my hobbies have included sleeping and doing nothing. No, actually, I'm uh, prepping uh, on the 17th of this month. There is a giant Hobby Town USA over here in Spokane. And they are, um, I think they're getting back into it, but they're doing a drift night. I love having a blast. So I'm going to, and I got uh, one of my, well, Jaws, his buddy, uh, his name is Jordan. He's over here in Spokane now, and he... uh, forwarded me an invite to join him to come and fucking go bang some doors, go do some drifting, have a little bit of fun. Hopefully it's a big, a bigger track because I saw a photo online of their drift track that they had and it was like 
something the size of this room here, which wasn't much for a 110 RC. It was like something for like a much smaller scale right. to play on. So hopefully they're opening up a huge area to go and uh, play with some cars. It'll be fun. So that's that's about all I've got going on. Not much hobbies. Don't got enough money for uh, getting my uh, drift car going yet, my real drift car. So that's firm. That's I am not allowed on a firm no more. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you got eight grand you can spend. Do it. I'm like, fuck. Don't mind if I do. Turbo kit. There goes five grand. Steering angle kit. There goes a grand. <laughs> Adds up quick. I just, yeah, no, I don't need no more payments on nothing. I uh, had too much fun with the firm. Firm fun. I affirm Chris that it was fun. a dangerous thing. Yeah. <laughs> Crystal was a little upset when I came home with a big-ass TV the other day. <laughs> She's like, where'd you get that? She's only upset because she knows it's for you to play on. <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's not. It's not even for me to it's play not on. It's not even. It's the front room. You just, oh, you put it in the front room? Nice. Yeah. 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 I took the 50-inch from the front it room. It should be for him to play on. It makes a hell of a difference being able to fucking see fucking while you play a. Call of Duty, huh? Fucking I dude. Dude, it makes all the difference in the world. I don't oh. wonder where the fuck did that come from as much anymore. Yeah. Where, what was that sound? That was uh, Photoshop saying, I've updated in the background. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right. Uh, you want to show us this video here? Give us a taste of your hobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Fade on over. So <laughs> here we go. Play. B. B. B, 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 B. I like how you got B, the board in the background. B, B. I've got that and that board. is B, the binary for B. B, B. <laughs> if you put that in, B, that's B in binary. B, B. So the idea of this was when I first started it was to try to hack YouTube. Fuck with the thinking algorithm. Thinking that the putting the binary code, the letters, and all that, it would fuck with the algorithm enough to like get it to crack off and get a bunch of views for just stupid reason. It hasn't. Um, <laughs> Surprisingly. But it doesn't mean that it won't. <laughs> That's facts. <laughs> so, true. if we complete the alphabet, maybe yeah. it's because it's an uncompleted alphabet. And why and would the they end? push A through E without getting to Z? It doesn't make sense. So, in my mind, I thought, I need to complete this. The journey must be fulfilled. <laughs> so, I am going to make every letter of the alphabet. And then after that, we might start words. 60 minutes. Word. Yeah, it's going to be 10 minutes and 10 seconds oh, of 10 seconds. every single video. So, there's this is 10 minutes and 10 seconds. Uh, and I, I'll even show the you back You should try end. to do the binary to the seconds. Make the the length of the video match the binary of the number of the letter Dude, you're doing. That would make it so fucking long, because most of the binary codes are like no. Break it down into eight a, fucking things long. Just eight pick a digits pick a long. pick a nice place to put a decimal. That's actually pretty smart, but I'm not going to do all that math while I'm trying to edit. So no. <laughs> it's ten minutes, ten seconds. Now the reason ten minutes, ten seconds one, is zero, because one, zero. not even that. That is, a so good, that is a good reason. Go watch A through E. But the, the real hungry. reason is because that is like the sweet spot for mid-rolls. In So I was thinking of how people used to do videos. It used to be 10 minutes, 10 seconds. It gave you an extra mid-roll on ads. And I thought maybe that would crack the ads algorithm. Dude, we should Yet send that to video that. to fucking... Uh, like those creepy guys, the like Nukes Top Five or fucking uh, Chills, those channels that do like ghost videos oh, and yeah, creepy yeah. videos, and be like, dude, I found this weirdo on the internet, and then <laughs> fucking get your algorithm boosted. That's not a bad idea. I did, I did do a the caption says, "Did you see the ghost?" <laughs> <laughs> At one point, I had. Oh, dude, I did just this massive clickbait. Like, and I did a <laughs> for ten minutes. They're just staring, waiting for it, but it's the same fucking thing over and over. Just because you said that, I have to read this to you. <laughs> so oh. I did a short saying, uh, "Did you see it?" <laughs> Exclamation point and all that. I'm gonna play the short for you. Oh shit. 
So if you notice right here, I put like a fucking sun flare and it's still there after the video cuts away. So I figured it would be something that people could notice that it was a fake ad, right? People actually claiming that they were seeing shit? So no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody almost that commented on it were like, I'm not too high for this, or I'm too high for this. Uh, I only see the light, which is what you're supposed to see, but I think they thought that there was uh, another one, laugh out loud, nothing at all. <laughs> so, you, sir, the smart one. <laughs> a lot of people just thought that it was nothing correct and that that is exactly what it was it was nothing you people are geniuses i just need you to know that and with that i think it's is it time for comments uh no i think next is main card is it what do you <laughs> have for main card we don't know uh we got a couple of things um <laughs> All right. So, so you didn't even hear me do it that time because I just blended right in. I got the pitch perfect. down and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so earlier this week, the views on Sunny Hostin discovered <laughs> that she's not as culturally pure as she thought she was as she was introduced to the concept that her ancestors, too, once owned slaves. Bum, bum, bum. Da -da -da. Uh, it's just that's just gold. It is so gold. Yeah. Just, so it. she uh she said her mom was also very disappointed because she identified as black or her uh, <laughs> what? No, she identified uh, she identified herself as a black race but Hispanic for ethni ethnicity, but her race is white. She's European, Austin explained. <laughs> She did the DNA test and it said she's one percent African American and decided y that Yeah, she's she's a uh... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. It's just so much. I love it. When people just get she... a nice little dose of reality. But here's the thing, she's still backing reparations. It's like, bitch, you realize that means you have to pay now too. <laughs> like it's not gonna balance you out. Especially if now you have if to pay. you think that it's gonna be like, well, because I've got mix, it balances out, so my debt is zero, but my income is also gonna be zero. Nah, they're just gonna take it from you. <laughs> That's how it's gonna happen. <laughs> Found your roots. Pay Whoops. Up. Oops. <laughs> pay up. Pay up. Pay up. Reparations. I love how she like was just like, well, that's history. <laughs> <laughs> After just, I guess this is how it so is. After shit. just, yeah, bashing this country and what fucking white supremacists we are and fucking, yeah. Just that, blows my mind because you you could just be like, hey, it's not even irony. Who, it's so good. Who are it's, the ones who who are the only ones who freed the slaves? Hmm. That was the Democrats, the right? British. Yeah, totally. Totally, yeah, it was the Democrats. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, those Ku Klux Klan groups, they were all uh, Republicrats. Mm. Oh, but the, the party switched, remember? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the party switched. Mm. Yeah. 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 Mm. Hmm. Weird. <sighs> I'm trying to find the actual video so we can show the people. Show the people. Which video? Of her pure disappointment yeah, on camera. On her face. I'd like mm. to see it too, because I honestly haven't seen it myself. It's pretty. Uh... What are you top typing in? I, I watched it already, so I'm just looking through my history. Uh, I'm afraid to see Just type in Hostin and uh, Ancestry. Oh, sure it'll pull up quite a bit. Yeah. I thought it was closer. Apparently, no, it wasn't. Three, but it up at 3 a.m. fucking dude. I, way yeah, I too watched much. so much shit, dude. I watched so much shit. It's ridiculous. Right. I watched so much shit. I also let it play. I like let history and shit like that play like 
actual history classes and shit like that play when I sleep. So I get smarter than wind blow every day. <laughs> <laughs> get the subliminal history. Yeah, it ain't mind. working. Uh, what was her name, Sonny? Hostin. S-O-N-N-Y. Hostin. Host. Do. Fucking. Do host. Fucking. Fucking Hostin. <laughs> <laughs> we stand alone. <laughs> Rot row. Oh. The battery's gonna die. Rot row. You might want to plug in your PC. No shit. Is that Tell what it means when the battery's low? That's all right. It's all a ploy. Because we got the screen over here. Hostin Ancestry. Why are you taking so long? You illiterate son of a bitch. Because I didn't want to type it in. And it's not coming up. How are you? Hostin. Hostin. Yeah, H O S T I N. You said T E N. I never spelled it. Yes, you did. <laughs> I did not. Yes, you did. He spelled I just Sunny. Spelled, I spelled Sunny. Yeah, no, you spelled sp- Hostin. No. no. I asked if it was Sunny, and you no. said Hostin. Okay, well, I put in Hostin DNA test and still not coming it, The up. video, is, what are you talking about? It's right there. Oh, there you go. Is this it? No, no that's, that's fucking not it. Go up. Go up. It just showed it. Fucking it was. Nope. Up. Up. It's that guy right there, isn't it? The second one down? No, that ain't it. You're fucking crazy. <laughs> what are you talking about? You God. stupid, ignorant fool. Oh, you are so fucking stupid. Go to the goog. Stupid. You are dumb. Go to the goog. Be a go man. To the bing. Go to the I'm going to go to YouTube. I'm going to pull it up right away. It's going to be like the first thing I find. I think... Oh, here we go. Found it. Shit. It's like the 18th thing down. You're so full of shit. A lot of people... All right. I'm going to have to... This is like the whole fucking episode. What the fuck? It's because it's not even what we're looking for. You're it so is what we're looking for. <laughs> it's so ignorant. Sit on that. Tough, tough day for mom. It's <laughs> so I mean, ignorant. Joy, would, would you sit on it? Because you're doing Skip's Finding Roots. When I was roots. 7% black from yeah. Finding Roots. Well, I have. <laughs> as Whoopi says, it's only a boat, ro- boat ride away. I think that's because you were. Oh, what? Racist. <laughs> <laughs> I think we found some, boys. Whoa. Oh, canceled. Dude, if you type in Sonny Hostin Ancestry, there's freaking one, two, three, four. The third one down's actually the interview on the Ruben Reports channel. God, you're so ignorant. I didn't put Sonny. Just I ignorant. just put what you said, Hostin. You're ignorant. Play back the tape. You're so ignorant. Playing back the there tape. There it is. There it is. All right, let's show these wonderful viewers. I have to set that up, too. Oh, my goodness, you're so ignorant. I'm going to slap the fucking wow. taste out of you with my dick. I'm, I'm, I'm in a little bit in shock. I, I just always thought of myself as Puerto Rican, you know, half Puerto Rican. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think Rican. I was, uh, my family was originally from Spain and slaveholders. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So <laughs> what how a are nervous you feeling, life. my Such friend? A nervous. Um, I just, um, I think it's actually pretty interesting that um, my husband and I have shared roots. Yeah. So I, I do appreciate that, um, and I think it's great for our children mm-hmm. to know this information. Um, so now you can tell. That I guess it's a fact of life that, that the uh, this is how some people the made their living. I guess it's just a fact <laughs> of life that this is how some people made their living. Oh, and if you don't know, so slavery is more abundant today than ever in history. Mm-hmm. Especially in sexual uh, slavery. Yeah. That would be the majority of it. But there's still actually physical slavery, too. Uyghur Muslims over in China that no one ever talks about. Yeah. There's still many, many slaves in Africa. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tribes. Fuck yeah. Whoa. That is loud. Oh, Lord. Oh, hold up. All right. I think God, the vast majority of Americans are racist. That's I, what I'm trying to I, I, help I, me I understand. I think that there is a significant portion um, that are racist, and you can't dismiss my lived experience. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. I don't know what. <laughs> All right. Shout outs to this guy right here. Drone Tech? Drone Tech. Shout outs to him. 152K subs. We'll give you a sub just because you're useful for the podcast. All right. So, yeah. Um, so that's that's her opinion on most of America. And You're then finds out shit that if you didn't know. she's a slave owner. 
family ties. Just like George Washington and and Thomas Jefferson. And many, and many, many, many. Many more. Many more. But I guess that's just a fact of life on how people made their money, Pappy. Alright. You have anything else? He's got another fucking five Jordan, snacks over here. Yeah, I know. He's pregnant. <laughs> he's Jordan a Peterson's been releasing some shit on his channel. Some debates that are pretty good where he's uh, going toe-to-toe with woke leftists over in Across the Pond. Yeah, uh, I feel shit. fucking so bad because they he lost his case. And oh, his, for the free speech yeah. in Canada? Not even just for the free speech, but for him to be able to to hold his to license. practice, yeah, to practice. yeah. Whether he so so either he has to no, he has to make the decision at this point. But they judged that his claim of free speech is null and void when it comes to his practice and the this group of people that the board or whatever yeah that claim whether what's the right practices and like what everybody's gonna the line everybody's gonna line out to and he's saying that's not how this should work and they're saying fuck you we're canada this is how we're doing it and you have a choice either you go and do these courses on social media training and keep your license or you give your license up and you no longer practice yeah, no longer help people out. That's that's good. We need that's. He's one of the smartest motherfuckers yeah. out yeah, there. Yes, they ordered him like, to take social media training. Training, yeah. And so it's either that or <laughs> give up his fucking license, and he's not going to do the social media training. So there he'll probably go. end up doing it. He should. He's doing too much good work not to. But the the thing is, is he he, he it, goes against all of his own principles and the things that he talks about, the twelve rules of fucking everything he talks about. If he cows to the system, yeah, that's true. So it would ruin him. Well, he's gonna make enough money from the Daily Wire. Yeah, shit, he's he's so fine. He's, he yeah. doesn't need to practice. But the thing is, is he still has a handful of people that he does. He doesn't even practice much. As of now, he has a handful of people. I think he still has had for years that he practices right. with but he would no longer be able to so that's a catch 22 but those people from my understanding are supporting him and saying that's fine like we'll still come to you as a friend right like they can't stop you from yeah, having a conversation with us uh, but you can't prescribe the medications yeah. and shit so if we need to do that somewhere else then we will it's just fuck that this is what Canada's come to I mean, well, you got you know Justin fuck Castro, it. Castro, yeah, boy Castro, <laughs> Castro boy Castro, Jane. Justin Castro. All right, should we? Uh, you got let's, anything else, or are we into comments? Uh, let's go into comments. This, this is going to take one. us a while, so. Let's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wimplo reads. <laughs> Okay, Wimplo, you read for us. Do, 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 do. I want to make sure Loading. you're on on Loading. track. I'm gonna Loading. I'm gonna go into them. Make sure we're we're on track here. Okay. Wow, we've got a bunch. Oh, dude, there's there's a lot. There's a lot. So, okay. Let's do the, the good uh, handful of them. Oh, damn. You've gone and replied to a few of these, haven't you? A couple of them. Yes, I see that. <laughs> uh, yep. Yes, you definitely did. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. So we didn't read any last week, so we're talking two weeks ago now. Good so deal. 14 days ago. Uh, huh? Damn. Yeah. Okay, two oh, weeks we ago. Two Here weeks we go. Ago. Here we go. Um, let's start with uncovering the hidden truths, dissecting the Fourteenth Amendment. Patrick G- Gammon. I feel like we already read this one, but maybe not. You're rebibit. I think he meant to say you're right. It doesn't say conviction. It says engage with which is fact, 
and don't even need a conviction when it shows engagement is all it takes. And then 22 Heiler says, so all Republicans have to do is accuse every Democrat of being an insurrectionist? Checkmate. Yeah, we did. This was one of the last ones we read. Okay, so we're on the next up uh, here. The gross reality of cleaning Denny's bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I was talking about how they tried to make me clean tampon containers. Fuck that. So we were discussing the smell of copper in the ladies' bathroom. <laughs> and Rorikin's Roar... 3007 says it's not exactly copper it also smells rotten have fun with that <laughs> that's sick believe me i know <laughs> um ryan h3176 says that's like really interesting stuff i want just never wanted to know <laughs> <laughs> little miss nikki 808 i wonder if she's like a beat maker Anyway, as a woman, what he's saying is true. The smell of blood do smell like copper. As a woman, I honestly believe it's gross also. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Coat 6820 says, my stomach hurts suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the mind-blowing secret of the immortal jellyfish revealed. He's saying rebirth, not reverse. That was Ed ZQ 5 my. Yeah, so um, again. so they rebirth themselves. Uh, uh, well, they reverse. Their no, aging it was process, the, right? the the text. The text is it's probably AI. Text. Oh yeah, 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 yeah the AI. The text it game. fucks it up all the time. It's called closed that. captioning, and it doesn't always match up to the words. It's that are getting being better set. though. It's getting better. It's training. It's an AI thing, yeah. so it trains it's on learning. everybody that uses it, and there's thousands of users now. It's getting pretty popular. Opus Clips. Um, yeah, it's good. So then we have uh, Cole, uh, Cole, Cole ten forty two. Yeah, on uncovering the hidden truths, dissecting the Fourteenth Amendment again. They're saying the accusation is enough. <laughs> That's yeah. what they're saying. Um, then we have Citizen Plan fifty eight forty. No, you're reading them out of order, but no, on mine it goes from bottom to top. It's yeah, but you got to go. You got to exactly find the short it is, saying. so they know what short we're talking about. It's and then you the go hidden down. effects gravity. No, because the way my gravity screen is set up dilation. is different than yours. Look at my screen. Look at the way mine's set it's up. It's reading the it same goes way. Up. Oh, I see. It goes okay. up. So anyway, the hidden effects of gravity, how time dilation affects our lives. Lazarus Lazuli six one three zero says, I can guarantee someone didn't live on the shuttle in space for a year. The International Space Station? Maybe. No, the International Space Station? Definitely. And, yes, Lazy said shuttle. That's not what he meant, though. We'll let it slide because we trained him as wrong, as a joke. Did I say shuttle? I might have said did. shuttle. Um, Sulukunumu 420. Sulu Numu? Oh, Sulu Numu. Um... 420s what a dope it's not about gravity pushing on you relativity is the reference to velocity so what you mixed up is that a person at sea level is traveling through space slower than a person on a mountain because the orbital radius is slightly larger while the velocity of the relativistic object both are part of earth in this case remains constant therefore the mountain guy is traveling through space ever so slightly, slightly faster. faster yeah well that's less gravity When you're at the center of, when you're closer to water, you're under more gravity than at the top of the mountain. Hmm. Uh, Patreon, well, he's saying it's because the radius, and so this end is moving faster than this end is moving, and is it it, he's saying that that's not. But okay. gravity's what where time dilation comes in. But that's why black holes and such, you know, gravity. That's why planets have different times yeah but he's, he was talking about how we were referencing relativity uh he probably missed the whole five minutes earlier when we were talking about the correct definition of relativity and caught like a snippet of the conversation well, that's as we were, it's a snippet of the conversation yeah. i'm just saying that what what i'm saying uh, we were trying to make a an idea i think about black holes and how time dilation happens and anyway anyway uh, Patronarchy says, yeah, it's called the twin paradox, not the twin AI story. Citizen Plane says, complete BS. Cool. Uh, like it. Moving on to the mind-blowing story of how planets formed and why our moon, uh, moon is a total... Oh, this is an old one here. 
Yeah. Um, loose Gunt. <laughs> It's another one. <laughs> I, 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 I never read that one out loud. It's another one? Oh. It's another That's one good. saying the same thing. Long, Why the fuck would you post dumbass nodding off while someone talks, LOL? AI decided just to clip it. Yeah. <laughs> Unforeseen consequences of helping the story of Wimplo and the photo shoot. Becky Ross 3210 says, but why would you do CPR for an alive person anyway? CPR is only need when someone is dead or their heart stopped. This is fact. I was testing you. Ever and you pass sand? CPR class. Have you ever seen the Sandlot? <laughs> this magic moment. <laughs> I mean, Squints got some of that Wendy Peppercorn. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, mind blowing story of how plants formed. Again, C- Captain Muzz 4085 says, Ha 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 ha. A third the size of the sun. Ha 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 ha. Wait, hang on a second. English. There's more. Ha 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 ha. We thank you, and we're glad that we could yes, make you. Yes, it out. was. It, it was. He meant the Earth, not the sun. Kevin R S one U says the sun question marks. Yes, the sun. Damn it. Red Zwan Shim says bro waiting waiting moon with his calculator. Damn right. El Zacco says, can't tell can't that tell room, that room smells, smells like weed. <laughs> Hell of like weed. Uh, and Bando plays 5649. It's one four quarter the size of the Earth. Another thing, Earth weighs 86 times the moon, even though it's so huge compared to other celestial bodies alike. Correct. We're glad to see that the Discovery Channel is still putting out space information. Yeah, that's where I get mine. Speaking of space information... The truth about the universe's origins debunking creationist, creationist, creationist claims. claims. <clears throat> That's right. Ryan Clinton says, Jesus is king and God is the creator. Period! Period. Um, then I replied. <laughs> he most certainly did. <laughs> <laughs> is he king or God? Make up your mind. He can't be both, God damn it. He's either the God or he's king. Always here. 6956 six says it doesn't matter if he had if it had a beginning nor if it will have an end we're probably actually real and this is seriously rare these things we're, we're using to communicate are uncomfortable the weaponization of psychology is rampant facts frequency moving on to unmasking the mysterious man solving the enigma behind the mask Ice Dog 6620 says, What mask? What man? What context? We will never know. <laughs> Facts. Sometimes we put some shorts out there just to fuck with you. And it works. Uh, unlocking the secret of time, how gravity influences our perception. Go Potato 69 says, uh, Its distance from black holes and other large objects affects gravitational time dilation and speed time dilation caused by velocity traveling 100 light years from Earth. And our speed is 99% the speed of light. Would only take 14 years, not 100. Time goes slower farther down in a gravitational potential, not faster. Clocks run slower at sea level than on top of a mountain, but your Jupiter example would be about one minute less. Time has passed after 100 years versus Earth. But, for example, let's say we want to explain interstellar, even though gravity would crush crush. the planet by then and anything that landed on it. They have massive time dilation because in the movie, the planet is right next to a massive black hole. <sighs> I forgot that that was even part of the story of Interstellar, that a massive black hole popped up next to Earth. And that's why he went to space. I forgot that was the whole reason. I just mm. remember that he went into a black hole and like traveled across space. i got to watch that movie again. And here's probably our most reacted to video thus far, This since the uh, last Daily Wire thing we put out uh hold up you missed this one i did Uh, not miss any the unexpected challenge oh yeah rum swap shakes up 2024 yeah rums rum swap (laughs) i didn't even it didn't even get the name of rum swami (laughs) so man it's ashton says you seem pretty confident but i bet you wouldn't put money on it i'm going to come back to this video in november and laugh in your face which i replied Please do. <laughs> and anytime you got an idea, come leave a comment here. Thanks for your participation and see you in November. We'll see you then. Very nice. Now to our now to video the of us reacting to the video of facts by Tom McDonald featuring Ben Shapiro. And this I think is the 
the separate standalone because I yeah. cut out just the reaction I think part it, and yeah. I posted that. I, so. I think it's, yeah, the video itself. So, from Donna Marie, 1698. No, that's not what Ben said. He said, epic. Please, if you're going to react, read the lyrics first. No. <laughs> I refuse. And, and I still think it says hey, Pepe. We're, we're going we're gonna to get back to that real quick. And for everybody's information, ass starts with an A, not an O. Therefore, he pronounced it exactly how it's spelled. They're going after corrupt music industry. Ben wrote lyrics he took from the insults he's gotten on his comments, hence the payback. Okay. First of all, it's not a reaction video if you already seen it. Or hmm. read the lyrics. Weird. You already know everything about it at that Weird. point. Yeah, it's not fucking reacting. It's not a live <laughs> react. That's what makes it a reaction video is we didn't hear it right. That's why people will watch that video because they'll be like, oh, this guy didn't hear it right. And for some psychological reason, people get a kick off people fucking things up. It's and weird. that's what I, my specialty. Tristina, 143, says, that was dope. Bright Space Babe says, Ben is epic. Real Penrod Pooch says, you're hearing things. Ben said epic. He didn't say Pepe. Yellow, orange, red says, arguing about Pepe Le Pew versus Pepe the Frog. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank you, God, for that small interval. YAMS1 XW says, Pepe, I thought he said epic. And then the real Penrod Pooch said, he did say epic. This guy's just hearing things. Donnie Bresnack, yes. <laughs> Donnie Bresnack, eight six five three says, "I think it's funny because Ben Shapiro has been known to say rap isn't music. Although I think he has lightened up in his stance, uh, this somewhat. stance somewhat. No, he hasn't. At all. That's what we call a joke. The real Penrod Pooch says, "I don't recall Ben saying anything about changing his mind about that. He never said no one should be rapping because it's not music. He only said that it's not music." <laughs> <laughs> Rat Ree 7777 says, boom. Roz Child says, or Roz Cord says, hits hard. Lauren CHB says, love the giggles. That's right. Okay, this one was funny as hell. Unveiling the truth about comedians, cancel culture, and language mastery. <laughs> the Chad Dingo says, bro, shut the fuck up. You have no idea what you're talking about. If Cat was there, he would have fucking clowned you back at your mama's tit. Or back to your mama's tit. To which we replied, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not saying that Cat Williams couldn't clown me. He could. Clown anybody. Very easily. Because he's a comedian. And has been for 40 years. But he is also a man that has been beaten up by a 13 year old boy so this is facts you can clown me all you want he's the size Nothing of a 13 year old boy is worse than a grown man getting grown beat man. up <laughs> by a child okay so, excuse me fuck so moving on to flying high the troubling truth about aircraft safety we were talking about the doors that came off mid-flight user i am two square to be nine e I don't know. Anyways, always blame the drugs. Excuse for poor pro quality control. Well, well no. They're the ones building it. Someone yeah. else is to be doing the quality control. Right. Yeah, so that was us talking about the... How everyone we Boeing, know at Boeing... Fucking, fucking smurfs yeah. crack. Yeah. Does yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's called... Uh, I mean, we're not assuming, just no. so that we're clear I on the subject. I sold them those yes. drugs. I Allegedly. guarantee. I have it's past seven many, years since many, last many, one many, I many friends that I grew up with because we're from that area where Boeing is at, and every single one of them knows and tells everybody's on fucking drugs. Everyone that builds these planes, all of them, all the time, all the days. Eighty percent of those fuckers are probably on drugs. I don't know. Easily, <laughs> I would even be more. I, I'd be willing, gun to my head, to say ninety percent. But <laughs> we'll go eighty. For safety. So anyway, yeah, we're not. It's not an excuse for poor quality control. It's facts. Yeah, you get poor quality control when everyone's on crack and methamphetamines. Facts. Moving on to unveiling the truth: comedians cancel culture and language mastery again. Jesse Holbrook says, 
Cancel culture just means society not being down with you being an asshole. Actual cancel culture only applies to folks who want human rights and justice and is usually cheered by the same folks complaining about not being able to scream the N-word at work. And one of us replied, yet it's only a, few, a small few loud mouths. That, oh, that language tells me that I was lazy. Grammar is horrible. <laughs> Um. Yeah. No. Cancel culture. I didn't write that. Cancel culture. That's you, bud. That's not me. I didn't put that. I wouldn't have said that. To this, I wouldn't have said that. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> this one's great. Anyways, the real <laughs> sweetie says, "Not another straight white male without the ability of being funny, except this ma- one making I fun of minorities." To. It's called just being a male, dude. You can say and joke about whatever the fuck you want, but guess what? Everyone else has the right to give you the finger if we'd like to. And you're and right. I said because we're in America and we're able to. This able to I replied. To. <laughs> this one I replied to. True. And did you assume Wimplo's gender? How dare you! Oh, Which you got a reply. reply. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice the reply until now, but uh, the real sweetie. Yeah, I'm the responded, bottom of the barrel, bitch. Wow, what an original response that people used to say like ten years ago. You're not funny. You're not clever. You're the bottom of the barrel. You're still 2010. You're still 2010. You're so stupid. You're just not original. Funny You're such a boomer. Uh, You're such a boomer. Gender still applies, whether it started a long huh. time ago or not. Still Weird. Applies. Weird. <laughs> But if someone assumed your friend or something's gender, you would be at fucking just off your fucking rocker. So oh, absolutely. Hmm, double absolutely. standard, anybody? Uh, it. F- I'm not trying to be clever. This is my actual thought. These are the, when when things come to my head. I usually just let them go out, whether or not they're right, wrong, or indifferent. It doesn't matter to me because I will deal with the consequence of whatever it may be. The the thing here is is you broke the rule. You assumed this female's gender as male. He <laughs> clearly identif- identifies as a female. I'm gender fluid, and right so, now I'm a man. I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just standing up for my transvestite friend. All right, and his right to not be dead named. <laughs> Hilarious roadside disasters caught on tape. Unbelievable accidents and funny moments. Dominic Brookings says, what? <laughs> I think that video is like 30 seconds of just random sentences. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> totally. One of the times I hear on the radio them like trying to call them for an accident down the road. Hmm. Like an old lady was in an accident. Like down a couple of miles down on Monroe Street. Or Monroe meets, I can't pronounce the name of it, but it's like a weird named cross street. Yeah, it's basically and just bullshit. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically just bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I would say what too, my guy. So um, what is Opus? So Opus is what? And I don't check any of them. There's like 34 of them every time I chop one up. I'm not watching all of them, sorry. I just upload them and let them go. <laughs> uh, comedian Cat Woman Williams critiques cancel cancel culture and uh, culture and language mastery. Jerem uh, Jerem the Fet Twelve says, "Man, y'all are fucking boring as fuck." To which I replied, "Your mother does, didn't seem to think so." Winky face. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> I don't see any uh, uh any then, punctuation there, bud. Yeah, it's there. Where? I used the winky face as a period. That's exclamation. not how that works. The, uh, you missed the uh, weird and uninterested workers at Planet Fitness. Oh, I did miss that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, real quick, we'll just figure this out or finish this out. Sheik the Assassin says cat, spelling correction. Again, it's AI. Weird and in- uninterested workers at Planet Fitness, an odd gym encounter. Yes, IV po- fo- poo. IV <laughs> fo- poo. <laughs> <laughs> I vee for foo. I vee for foo. Um, the more you add, the more made up it sounds. Exactly on point. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Jim Miracle. Miracle. Who is he? Miracle. I would have been like, oh, okay. Have a great day, dude. Shut up. No, I had to tell him. Um, unveiling the truth, comedians, cancel culture, and language mastery. 
Lavanseal <laughs> says, I love that the language used to show off your vocabulary in response started with the phrase cow down. <laughs> 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 For those who haven't seen don't, the short, don't cow down now. Though. He was trying to say cow tow. <laughs> he was halfway there. I got I the cow part. Was cow down. <laughs> um, wrong spelling. The difference between religion and spirituality debunking false dichotomies. JDT nine one seven seven said the most annoying motherfuckers ever is the guy who says I'm not religious but I'm spiritual. Well, religious I feel like is. I'm part of the cult. Whoa. Spiritual is like, I believe, believe in something, in something beyond thing. myself. Um, so I'm going to read this as written on the surprising truth about good <laughs> Samaritan laws and CPR consent. Red pilled cove fifi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sucking down them cancer sticks is so stupid. Especially for overrate large people such as yourself. Bro, <laughs> exercise and stop going to Mickey D's so often. Here's the thing. I don't go to Mickey D's ever. I just eat poorly at home. And then I'm the only one on this podcast that actually works out. <laughs> I know. That's uh, so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the gym every day. Uh, I'm well, just fat. And, started. Yeah, I just started going. But from the time that you made this comment, I had already started going to the gym. Uh, so that's cool. And... This is one's for you. <laughs> <laughs> On discovering the hidden marvels of a starry night, a unique art perspective. We were talking about uh, uh, the guy using that uh, rendition, his yeah. own rendition of it. Yeah, and we we're trying to figure it out. Uh, who did it? Techmaster9781 says, I need what they're smoking. Fuck kind of bullshit they spouting off about. <laughs> we were talking about homage. And we used to give you guys exactly what we were smoking Every so time, you could but... get on our level. Hayden7504 says, two dudes talking about something they know little to nothing about. This is the plight of 2024. No, Welcome I knew about it. The problem was I couldn't remember who did hold, it. Here's, hold up. Here's the thing. That has been humanity since the beginning of speech and time. Like, people just <laughs> bullshitting about stuff and they know nothing about until they figure something out about it. That is... Facts. Is every fucking uh, conversa- guess conversation? Guess what? I bet you have a conversation with one of your family members, and a lot of it's just bullshit that you know nothing about. And then you might stumble into something you know a little bit about. Mm-hmm. Welcome to conversations. Welcome to 2024. We're glad to have you. So moving on, did little Dicky really steal Dark Knight? The truth revealed. People GRG Pascal oh, said, yeah. just because two guys had similar ideas doesn't mean it was stolen. People were pissed. It was stolen. Head. Mr. Spikel says, sounds like he stole your nickname from college, too. <laughs> you would you. go to college. <laughs> right? You know, but hold up. You know who they're talking to, right? You. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And I never went to college. I went to GED courses. And I got kicked out for selling drugs. <laughs> now, the name I was given, Lazy, is just I think accurate. they were talking about Little Dicky, saying he stole your na- nickname, Little Dicky. No, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, I, they were That's saying what they're that. trying to say. Oh, well. <clears throat> and then, well, how to FYI, prevent bursting our... pipes in your new house, talking about your in-laws' oh. house. Uh, George2113 says, try to keep pipes in interior walls. Yes, that's thank you. They are Honor Honored Elite five six seven seven says half pecs like dude said. Yes. But obviously they used copper. And I've come to find that a lot of pop, a lot of uh, plumbers prefer to use copper. Yeah. Oh yeah, they still use copper to this day. Yeah. It's easier much easier to do pecs. and it's just more expensive. Yeah. Um did little Dicky oh well, again. So easier. back to little Dicky again, start ender space bar. Says, uh, oh, Star Tender Space Bar says, my man thinks inspiration and homage is theft. Um, I think it was just. No, no it was, it, it was something. Stolen. I was asking a question, and I was also saying, I think that it's sad that someone like Little Dicky, who claims to be an original artist, did nothing that original, has 
just pretty much just taken other ideas and put his spin on it and almost copy it exactly. That's not exactly homage, you know. And and then when you pay That's homage like to Vanilla something, Ice you kind of show that you're paying homage. You don't go around going, "I'm a crazy now. artist because I just did a Joker scene." You're not a crazy artist. You just replicated something. Yeah. And dun, I'm not dun, saying dun, dun, like dun, from dun, a point dun. that I'm a fucking artist of that's great in any means. I replicate shit too. Just say what you're doing. Be honest about it. Right. Uh, the mind blowing effects of gravity, how time dilation shapes our lives. Crever4095 says, gonna throw my personal theory in. The time dilation is not a set progression. Once we get into interstellar space, it gets worse exponentially. Okay. Uh, how to avoid, oh, how to properly use a microphone, avoiding distorted sound. St. Northgate Recording says it's called cupping the mic, it's annoying as shit. When I ran a DIY venue, I'd purposely give the front rap or front person or rapper an SM57, so that way they could get away with it without the bad distortion or the feedback that happens with like an SM58 or a standard old vocal mic. Which is smart. And then, yeah, so Lazy said smart. That's good thinking. Unveiling the truth about Common Core education in high school. Sleepy Happy Sloth said, "What problem do you have with Common Core, mate?" I didn't hear any reasoning, just a dumbass repeating Common Core, Common Core. Also, that song linked is a crime against music. Um, what? What song linked? What? I don't know. Oh, anyway. Um, but Common Core is. To which I read. I responded, Common Core is an absolutely ridiculous way to teach math. It is 100% inefficient, and if you look at the studies, when a school district adopts that teaching method, the test scores begin to drop significantly. No response back. Of course. Uh, the PC versus Mac debate. Same hardware, different OS and integration. Fishwash says, Macs are also optimized for the hardware. Important to take that into account. I did. DJ Susan go watch a little video. Zero Zero says, yeah, you're right. They basically can do the same thing, just different workflow. Macs are just overpriced for what you get. An S a SSD that's soldered directly onto the NA, uh, the NAND. Facts. And if that messes up, your $2,000 MacBook is bricked. Facts. True. True Crime exposed shocking secrets of Gypsy Rose Blanchard revealed. Gail Wagner 8115 says, This is exactly what pedos say. It happened. Grandma is 100% guilty. Um... I wish what? I had more context. Yeah, I yeah. wish. I, yeah, what? What did we say that made her think Which we were pedos? That? That's true crime expose. Hmm. Uh, Cause I remember saying something about like, what the fuck about the grandma? Isn't the story kind of about how fucked up the grandma is, or whoever was taking care of her, or something to that effect? All right, so I'm at y'all fucking boring as fuck. Is that before or after where we're at? It should I be up cat. on the list. Up from the cat. Uh, two dudes talking about, okay. I up need, from that. Sounds like stolen nickname. Uh, I have pecs. The main thing. It's up from that. Gonna, it's called cupping the mic. Okay, we're getting close. We are. Max are optimized. Oh, shit. Audience, it's been happening 110 years. Monopoly money. Yeah, that's where it ends for me. What the fuck? What? Yeah, I don't know. I got it right here. Well, play she it. She goes into the room, points at the bed on camera, and then makes a knife stabbing motion. Ah. Shit. So, everybody, including. So, they kind of have contact with Gypsy's father, stepmother stepsister grandpa who she claims raped her as a child they're talking to the grandfather and straight up just ask him and he's like no she tried yeah. to tuck me but I said nah they're all from down like that's Louisiana. what pedos say oh, yeah. pedos say nah she yeah, tried okay. to do it to nah, me she okay. Okay. okay okay all right. Okay. All right, I can take I can deal with that um <laughs> so yeah, Moving on pissed. to uh, why ads alone can can't make you money on YouTube. Smooth Jazz Sunday says, "Well, no shit, you barely have an audience. I bet we have more than you. Probably not. We got one uh, subscriber that's got 
a fat audience. Nice. Dope. The dangers of inflation. How monopoly money ruins the dollar. Casey Rose Kranz 3554 says, It's been happening for 110 years since we allowed one private entity to control over monetary policy. It's gotten worse since the euro dollar system was established. Facts. Why ads alone can't make you money? Uh, Stuart Yates says, uh, you ought to try waking up at 4 a.m. six days a week to earn a living just for people who make twice as much as you to complain about budgets and shit. Sorry about your ad revenue, though. Bro, we all hold full-time jobs. <laughs> like, we do this on top of full-time jobs. <laughs> We're not funded. We are privately self-funded. You fucking asshole. Right? And I make probably the least, and I invest probably the most. So, you also have the least expenses. Yeah, but that's by choice on some of us. So that is true. Um, but it's still a fact. Yeah, but but again, choices. <laughs> we make choices, uh, and this is the choice I make. This is the thing that I put my money towards. But I'm saying, I work a full time job. I put money towards this shit almost as one guy, and able to do this with a basic job. I mean, a little more than basic job, but I don't get paid more than much more than the average minimum wage. Right. Maybe three to five dollars, depending on where you live and what the minimum wage is. Here in Washington, I'd probably make like what three dollars more than what the minimum wage is. Yeah, about that. I'm 16, lucky enough 16, to be $16. as an apprentice making way more than an apprentice should be making off the bat. Yeah. yeah but that's because I got a job with technically a family member as my boss. So yeah, so there you know, get a little advantage there. Which is nice. Yep. But we Leg do up. this. All I was stating is that you will, pardon me, you will not make rich amounts of money off of ad revenue unless you're making a high CPM. That's the full context of the the idea. Is you have, and certain people like Mr. Beast have like 120 or more dollars per CPM per thousand views, and then they get 100 million views they're making a buttload of money on ads and then they also have paid for ads by a specific company which right. he does in the middle of the show by like spotify or something like that where they'll pay him a fuck ton of money millions of dollars to do a 30 second ad. yeah to be a brand ambassador yeah so can't not saying that, that you can't make a fuck ton of money on youtube or on the internet period i'm just saying if you think that you're going to start and make a bunch of money off of ad revenue, you're sorely mistaken. Right. All right. Two more to go. The dangers of inflation. How monopoly money ruins the dollar again. Sterling Bates 5090 says, Monopoly money is the dollar and has been since the end of the silver-backed currency. Yes. Mm -hmm, That's facts. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why people quit YouTube and how it affects content creators. Normally distributed, 5474 says, Watching Matt Pat retire was one of the most emotional days of my life, along with others. Sigman is... <laughs> Sigman. Sigman is right. <laughs> uh, it hits different when you've been here the whole time, and now it's the end of an era. It's something that can never be explained and only felt. Yeah. Uh, well, it can be explained. People have explained it. It's called beta male shit. No, it's... Uh... <laughs> When you feel like you know something about a person you've never met, there's a certain thing that it's called. It's like you have this, you feel like you know the person, but you've never met the person. And it's happened a lot since YouTube and people have become like personal stars to other people. Like they get famous in their own niche. There's a, there's a word for that. Um, yeah. Um, John Gino right. talks about that too you know um i don't know the word for it i want to say it's like para para something yeah yeah, yeah it's, it's not there <laughs> yeah it's, not, it's just like it's gone out of my mind but uh it's an actual thing parasocial relationship it's a parasocial relationship i don't think so look that up look up parasocial relationship 
That's when you, you feel learn. like you know somebody and you have a relationship Until with you them, but you shit. don't. Shit. You're actually you right about that. Uh, fucking always right. Okay, so parasocial them. relationships are one-sided relationships where one person extends emotional energy, interest, and time, and the other pers- party, the persona, is completely unaware of the other's existence. Parasocial relationships are most common with celebrities, organizations, and... Yes, so... So when you followed a YouTuber from their inception to their end, you have this parasocial relationship with them. You feel like you know them as a friend, and then you're losing your friend. So you get the same, you're getting the same feeling as if like a good friend has left or died or passed on. So I, I guess I just don't get it because like I'll, when I'm watching like live streams and shit, like I see all these people trying to talk like like they're best friends with this person, and it's like. The only time I'll ever top, type something in is if, like, a fuck bunch of people are being stupid around me, and I'll be like, here's the real answer you're looking for. Or if I'm trying to win something. he's smart. Or if I'm trying to win something. <laughs> like, <laughs> click click here, type this to get, you know, and I'll pick someone See, at random. But it's I'll not, do that. But. It's not even, like, I have, I would say I would have parasocial relationships with YouTubers that I've watched since the inception of their channel, but I've never commented on any of their shit. I don't even do anything that's like other people on the channel would if they have a giveaway or something like i don't join the giveaways i don't do anything like that but i listen to what they say and i feel like i know the person because they talk to me one-sided and i listen to them through the fucking tv screen and i know i feel like i know that person if i were to meet them i know more about them than they know about me right so I so, feel like there's a connection there. The closest there I could probably relate to that is uh, there's this dude named Jake Lizio who has a, a channel called Signals Music Studio, and he does a bunch of, like, guitar theory and shit like that. And he went on a hiatus for, like, a year or two, and he popped back up with, I guess he's doing his channel again, and I was, like, not excited, but I was like, oh, cool, fucking another good reference tool. I'm glad to see, like, yeah. This guy explains it well. So, so but it wasn't have, like it wasn't like life changing. Like, oh my god, he's back! It was. Yeah, I wouldn't say that I have that same like the people that I would say I have a parasocial relationship with is like John Hill, um, Sam Tabor. I've watched a lot of their shit. It inspired me to get into YouTube and shit. But I also don't keep up with their content anymore. Right. I don't. I've, I've. There was a lot of channel like SPF Russia. I used to watch it religiously, and then it just vanished, and I didn't and care. That was it. I, I didn't care, but I still felt like I knew the person. Right. And then when stuff came out about the person later, I went and watched all of it. I, I went and saw all of it to see what was going on with this person that I thought I had known, and comes to find out that he isn't Russian at all. Just a normal white just dude. Just a normal white just guy. Normal he was in the middle of Not fucking like accent. Nebraska or something doing all this shit. <laughs> he just so happened to have a buddy that had an FFL license to be able to like Here, get a hold this. of flamethrowers and tanks and all kinds of crazy shit. Like had a real top FFL license, but then that guy ended up going to prison for some shady shit. And <laughs> Whoops. Then he continued trying to do that with the connections that he had made through that guy. But he never had the FFL license, and then he got in a lot of trouble oh. <laughs> for continuing to do shit without the license yep. in the U.S. Because people thought he was in Russia. They are like, how is he getting away with shooting fucking I fire breath know. and shotguns yeah. and fully automatic weapons and all this shit? Blowing Just shit up. in the and... middle of a fucking field. He must be in Russia. Like, people right. had, to, there was no other way. And then he just, broke uh, the law. But now favorite, he's on a favorite podcast. episode was when he just was uh, showing off the uh, Sega 12s, the <laughs> Sega 12 shotgun, <laughs> fully automatic <laughs> versions, <laughs> the good ones. Yeah. And uh, I just find it funny now that I now own one of those, and it's hmm. great. And I not love it. Not fully automatic version. Not fully automatic. Yeah. Absolutely not. We no. must state that <laughs> yes. it's not I fully not automatic. I have any full auto. Yet. Everything <laughs> is semi-auto. <laughs> if I had one, it'd be very, very, very well hidden. And only brought no, he would have a legitimate uh, full automatic license mm-hmm. where he's gone through all the steps and got all the permits to get a fully automatic yeah. license. Mine's just so a factory, FFA, awesome, FFL, whatever the issued. fuck. All the three-letter companies, it's all legit. All right, let's move into what the fuck lazy. Uh, I feel like he stole my what the fuck lazy. <laughs> Okay.
Okay. Well, Wimplo fucked me. I asked him right at the top before we even started recording, too. Was he going to use this topic? He said no. And then he did use the topic. So Keeping you on your toes. Uh, well, that's disrespectful and fucked up. So um, I'm going to make it... I'm going to make it fucked up for you. That's... Uh, <laughs> All right. All right. All right. what are your thoughts okay this is what we're gonna do we're gonna do would you rather what the fuck lazy style alright yeah this is gonna be great you're gonna like this I think you need to eat a bean nope you fucked up because I, you're a liar. Did I fuck up? Because I, I asked you a question and then you stole biz, my dude, fucking. You gotta no, be ready that's to not how that yeah. works. But <laughs> that's how you get yourself bar to kick through a fucking wall. <laughs> um, so wind blow. Would you rather suck a bag of dicks, <laughs> the whole bag, the whole at bag. once, or? Take it out and suck and love each dick individual, <laughs> individual. <laughs> until they spit. You choose, and you have to make a choice. <laughs> so it's either you put your lips all around a bag and suck all the dicks at once, or you just pull them out, That's pet good. them. <laughs> Jerk him a little bit. Let's get it over quickly. <laughs> <laughs> All at once. All right. <laughs> That's a lot of cum, bud. That's a lot of cum. Wait, Blue. But it's only one. This is a yes or no <laughs> question. Would you suck Biden's dick? Whoa. For him to completely stop doing all the bullshit he's doing, or whoever's controlling him, whatever. Would you? Would you suck it? To, yeah. To and so with this pigment, this bullshit. With this pigment. He can keep doing what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> you just fucked so, us for the next So, you're telling all the Americans years. out there, you would not suck Biden's dick to end all this bullshit. No. To save America, you wouldn't suck Biden's dick. I'm not touching that. You're not a patriot. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a patriot. He Do it for your country. <laughs> he he just suck his cock. He hates 2A, and he Jeez, wouldn't this suck is a nice Biden's limo. cock <laughs> <laughs> to save the country. Well, you're, you're, well, you know, Jack, you're right. This is a nice limo and corn pop there. He uh, said, uh, <laughs> suck my dick. <laughs> Here's the thing. You know he wouldn't remember it afterwards. <laughs> so all you would have to hey, do is try Hey, didn't I tell hard. you to <laughs> suck my dick? But I just did. Joke's on you. I got Alzheimer's, motherfucker. <laughs> I can't be tried. I can't be tried. <laughs> I'll suck my cock. <laughs> oh. And save this country. That's right. That uh, SBMM it. and ABMM thing that I brought up. That yes. I wanted to talk you about. talk about that. Skills why I match. find a what so the fuck. They were skill. talking about skill based matchmaking for Call of Duty, but maybe also implementing age based matchmaking. They should, so we don't have to worry about getting fucking offensive languages by kids who shouldn't be playing the <laughs> game because they're not 17. Yeah. I, I actually think that would be a really good idea because I would enjoy that dude who just got home from a really long day of work and barely plays the game that is probably around my age for me to just fucking destroy every single one of them. Yes. It'd be great. It would be great. I, to I, maybe get more than three steps out of a spawn and not be shot. Yeah, well, you That'd know, be good. we can't all buy Cronus <laughs> or have somehow six millisecond ping all the time. Right? That's crazy. I, Mine's yeah, like I'm usually good. in the 40s, 30s to 40s. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I just thought that was kind of an uh, interesting thing that was brought up um, So through the developers. And stuff. How do you I think, think they would be able to that? make that happen? Well, yeah, that... That that is a key thing there, cause, but most of the time when you sign up for something, you gotta kind of give, give them age, some kind yeah. of information. Yeah, but people lie about that shit all the time. It's There's facts. so many underage kids on Facebook that it, like 13s, where what you have to be, and there's so many fucking 
people make profiles for their babies. Right? That's true. And their dogs. You don't even have to be a human <laughs> to have a profile. It's fucking insane. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's... Grumpy cat. All right, so I got something for you. Yeah, I've seen it. This dude gets fucked up. I'm going to have to blur this for them. I, mm. I apologize. It's not very graphic. I don't think you should. Oh, it's graphic at the end. I don't remember. Really I don't care the channel, but I just watched it. Oh. <laughs> Limp and noodle. here, right here's where it starts to get graphic. Oh. So, yeah. So, what? He hit another motorcycle. motorcycle. Two motorcycles collided. Boom. So you can only imagine what happened to the other guy on the other side that flew the other way. They just got this angle. But there's two dead people right now. Damn. Yep. So that's cool. (laughs) That's cool. God damn. Those fucking motorcycle guys are just... Oh, biter. Biter, teach her a lesson. Fuck her up. I hope it doesn't. I want to love the foxes. All right, what's going to happen? Oh, it's happy. It's, it's doing its little... Yeah. <laughs> but that one oh, what the hell is that? That's not a fox. That's a fox. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's going to get between them. No, this is just a good video. This is just a good video? What the fuck, lazy? This is a good video. (laughs) This might just be a good video. Poor sweeties. It'd be so cool to have a fox, though. (laughs) It would be so sick. I want a fucking raccoon. Dude, I just went and did a job for someone who has a raccoon for a pet. Yeah, Yeah, they're fucking cool as shit. They're smart as fuck. Oh, that's a good one. Cleaning the the drain. Cleaning the drain. Oh! <laughs> Gone. Gone. <Jeez. laughs> I didn't Christ. know the music in the past. Flash. That's good. Just incinerates. <laughs> Holy, fuck. Holy <laughs> shit, biscuits. Call around. him the magic man. Now you see him. <laughs> now you don't. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of speculation that video is fake, though. Because, like, the legs and shit, you'd think it would just blast off half. I mean, unless it right lifted... The upper half. Yeah, unless it lifted him up. It's hard to say. Oh, oh I thought that was I thought on that the video. was my headphones. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, where's this car? I don't see a fucking Challenger somewhere. I thought it was going to be something like the chick was about to, like, pull out a chainsaw or something. No, it's having a hard time that was loading. A, that straight up was a challenger, I'd bet. Shit is All the money on, a that hard time on that noise. Too many street takeovers, I know the sound. Hmm. <laughs> Speaking of street takeovers, y'all are fucking stupid and you're making the car scene look like shit. Go fuck yourself and quit doing your that. dumb shit. <laughs> He's fighting a ghost. Yo, I told you. He's like, ghost punch! <laughs> <laughs> Swinging a miss! I fucking chucked it. It'd be funny I if he knocked himself out, though. Just hit his head. Dunk. He is having a kick of a time loading. I am bleeding, making me the victim. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh knees. Ah. Broken. Both broken. Both femurs gone. Just broken. I like Satan and Satan clothes and Satan music so and bloody film? martinis. So, yeah, I don't think this is going to give no. us much more, but we've seen some fucked up shit, so. Yeah, right. That's cool. Stay safe out there, you fucking psychotic motorcycle riders. You, y'all are a whole nother breed. You're right. fucking crazy. Be fucking snowing, hailing, whatever, and you're out there. Today, on my way here. It's pissing fucking rain and trying to snow, and there's this dude out there with this little tiny bulldog with a helmet and glasses on cruising around on his Harley. <laughs> fucking psycho, dude. Cute dog, but goddamn, you're dumb. It's fucking shitty out. Jesus. There's ow. gravel all over the fucking road on every turn. You're gonna slip out. Yep, it's not gonna be a good look. Oh, what you got here? Whoa! 
shit. shit. Wait, what? Goal! <laughs> fucker got Jesus ejected. Christ. What the fuck? Paul Walker? That's not even half. <laughs> 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 you see the video? There's this dude pulling into a gas station, just getting ready to get some gas, and this truck comes out of nowhere and just fucking takes out the pump and just boom! Just right in front no, of him. Holy dude. fuck! That one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is! <laughs> <laughs> what the f? <laughs> you know, what right. the fuck? Oh, oh, the popos. Let's see, police. Someone's so y'all, it's a vehicle flipped. This is a 69th in Eggleston. They saying um, it's an officer, something involved with the police. So hey, yeah, going wrong? something involved with the police. Something, something oh involved. fuck! Oh, dead. What? Everyone dead. Open that up. Screech. Oh! Oh, oh Everybody my dead. god! Yeah, that's why you don't drive tiny micro machines right there. You go under the meaning the, the fucking term compact. <laughs> <laughs> you can park that anywhere now. Oh, man. All right. Well, well, I feel like we've done our due diligence. I think so. I we've shown, shown you what not to drive and what not to ride. And uh, that's why my butthole puckers every time I see a semi coming up behind me. <laughs> I'm like, right. Oh, shit. For sure. I don't know about you, but to this day. Nope, I don't either. Behind a fucking nope. logging truck. Nope. <laughs> Final destination <laughs> fucked us I don't all either, up. Dude. For life. Fuck that. Yeah. For life. Yeah, all that right. Makes me a little nervous well, every time. We just got one more segment to go real quick. What was that? Missed you. Ah. And then we'll wrap this bitch up. How yeah, do I better get, get that Subi back? Oh, you're driving Honcho's car. Yeah. Nice. The new Subaru. The new Baru. Well, that's not, not it. <laughs> it's under right. that. It was under Misty's name. <laughs> Here we go. Swipe right. Right. Yeah. We'll go back. Start there and then go right. And then right. Yeah. Uh, we picked right. Las Vegas, Ooh. where the Super Bowl is currently going and update on the score uh, it's a commercial <laughs> <laughs> oh oh here we go update that's on the why score. my internet's fucking up looks like half time oh yeah that is why it is i yeah. got the super bowl going on uh i think half time's over we missed usher darn uh looks like oh kc kicked a uh field goal attempt and it got clipped by the. san francisco they're trying Where another field at? goal Where as we, we speak. Where we at? Some yeah, this could be part of. Misty oh no! This is uh, this is after halftime. Hey, be careful! We're gonna get NFL on our ass. Ten to six. Oh, did it? Oh, maybe that was a field goal attempt. Ten to six, San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right. So. All right. We missed the halftime show. Thank God. Five this minutes is, to go in the third quarter. This is uh. So Las Vegas. Oh wow. This this is an interesting ask. Looking to tickle. Ooh. I'm a guy. And I am looking to only tickle another guy for a while. That uh, direct. You know what? I think uh somebody's gonna oblige him on that. Yeah. But you know what? I need to be tickled too. It's like that fucking meme where the porta potty you take a shit and the Triton comes up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, um, what's it, what do they call that kiss? That's something. Poseidon's kiss. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I just thought the. <laughs> doop, doop. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get each nut, you know. <laughs> doop, doop, doop. All right, all right. <laughs> Calling all of North Las Vegas. Where the head doctor's at? Looking for a head doctor, throat guy, uh, throat goat, that host. Who is a hosting throat goat? In Vegas. In Vegas. Hit this guy up. Get up on here. He will he needs let you suck him doc down. To show him how it's done. Suck that dick. Uh, Wimplo. 
<clears throat> Sounds like you need to get on a flight and go help this man. I'm not Teach sure. him this guy was your ways. All sorts of wrong about who's playing today. Oh, is he? <laughs> or is he? <laughs> need a, a fun team. girl to go to SF to watch the Lions play play Sun. Sunday? Sun. Oh, play Sunday. Okay, yeah. yep, yep. Didn't She's like, I don't Sunday? speak bonics. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't an M before the N. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for one female to go. Yeah, no, I read this one. What? Is it from Las Vegas? No. Did you not swipe right? I did, bro. You put on. He failed. He Went blow failed. Uh, no, yeah. There you go. Uh, Swipe right. Like, yeah, direction. Swipe from right to left? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, but you went too far now. I already read this. Oh, okay. That was it? How many did you have? This is in southeast. There you go. Uh, GVR still. What does GVR stand for? I don't know. Maybe in the description it will tell us. Hmm. Been a while. We used to talk a lot, but never met like we said we would. I really miss our talks. You always told me stories about being a good dad and how you missed the old days. I wanted to help you out with that. Let me know. I'm still here for you. I'm still here for you, Daddy. Man for man. Oh. Oh. Weird. He wants to help raise some kids. Daddy. Okay. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's that's a good thing. I mean, Every boy needs a father. <laughs> oh yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Senior citizens get together. Hello, I am an older guy, 72. Hoping to find other seniors living at the Milan apartments that would like to get together a few mornings each week. Perhaps coffee and kibitzing? Or maybe doing some walking. I'm rather chubby. Okay, maybe at 235 pounds, I'm more like obese. (laughs) And could use a bit of limited exercise. Hope to hear back from seniors at Milan. <laughs> He's honest. Yeah, uh, GVR, good. from what I can find, either stands for goofy versus regular, <laughs> <laughs> gas volume ratio, group uh, virtual reality, which is what I think that's probably for. Maybe. Mm, that could be. Uh, green vehicle rebate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, garden view regular. Oh, they just showed fucking Taylor Swift on TV. Of course they did. They probably showed Dude, her fifty fucking thousand times already. I got a, I got. There's a buddy in class. He's like, so we're gonna play this game called Take a Shot every time Taylor Swift is on the screen. No, oh, you're bro, die. you're fucking done. You're dead. You'll Alcohol die. poisoning. Yeah. Dead. Hospital. You don't have enough liquor your in your house <laughs> to be able to do that game. Only if you own a liquor store could you accomplish that. Yeah, you. I mean, yeah, you're gonna need. <laughs> barrels of whiskey. I, I just imagine. I haven't seen it much of this at all. I just imagine I just after every, every fucking, fucking play. play. <laughs> Boom! What is she drinking? Boom! What is she wearing? I, Boom! What I, is nah, she thinking? That was the first time I'd seen her. I've probably seen about ten minutes worth. So that's probably because people get made so <laughs> I'm much. Sure during the talk fucking so half much time. shit about it. Yeah, right. People have already talked so much shit about how like tired they are of seeing Taylor Swift on the thing. Joe Coy made a joke about it. I know, I heard about and that. And, like, then it pans to her, and she's just stone cold face. Oh, do we have one more to go? Oh, yeah, we do. This one sounds a little, eh, a little too scripted. On the nose. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. This one sounds pretty innocent. Let's just say that. I don't think this is what he thinks it is. Okay. Retired plumber. Retired plumber. I have openings this morning for side jobs. Let me know if you have any work needed. It is in the Misty Connections area, so... It uh, is. So it's either he, code word or a plumber just put it in the wrong he's area. He's got a pipe. <laughs> I, I think he put it in the wrong area. Yeah, or it's just free or to put it in the wrong Or did he, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or it's free to no put an ad in Miss Connections, and it's not free to put an ad on oh, as an business. ad. Oh, for Yeah, so sense. they put a free ad there. And is there an actual number? No, he, he no. did not give a number. See, so then, no, he wants mail. somebody. To fucking, <laughs> he wants somebody to clean his pipes. Be, he's wow. retired and needs his pipes cleared. No, he wants to clear that he's the he's plumber. He's trying to clear those pipes. 
He's trying to clear him like this guy. I got something else for you before we go. <laughs> oh, shit. Just because you brought that in, I have to bring this up. It's going to it's gonna make your day. It's going to make your day. It's Is beautiful. it RPC? No. Or RCP? No. I'm in it's, danger. The RPC was right. RPC, Robert yeah, Paul Champagne. Right. Yeah, that's right. Fucking respect the name. Um, respect the champagne. That's right. God damn it. He's a fucking Wait, how did KC artist? get a fucking touchdown? I missed that. Winning. Rut row. Dude, this game is so rigged, and I just watched the biggest fucking part of it being rigged. Like, by, sir, by happen chance. They just went to punt it, and this dude fucking, like, has every opportunity to hit the ball, but for some reason <laughs> fumbles it. Yeah, no, this game's rigged. That's KC third, already though. won. It's only the third. It ain't over. KC already won. They can't let fucking Taylor Swift's boyfriend lose. The mob would be insane. Oh, they'd burn that whole stadium. So the rigged. stadium to the fucking ground. So rigged, dude. Like, right. how do you even play a game knowing that you're fucking just playing to lose? Uh, you try not to play. Just hit him in the fucking foot right there. Look uh, at that. Yeah. You fumbled that. Bullshit, you fumbled yeah. that. that. That's was what I'm the saying, the fakest dude. fucking fumble the most I've ever rigged seen. rigged fucking... I'd fire him. That's some you butter fingers first, otherwise. Boys. It's rigged. You heard it here first, people. The game's rigged. All right, now I got something to show you before we go. All right, what we, what we got here? Old Who ass man. Is this bushy brow? Holy, are those real I brows? I want real bad too. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh oh. Oh Jesus. Oh. <laughs> oh fuck. <Hey>. Yep. <laughs> oh. I'd love to be in your arms, oh. laying either under you or on top of you. Yeah. Or just standing there holding each other. I don't care. It's yeah. a good way to start. It is a nice way. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see the bottom part yet. No. Nope. You'll have to walk back. There you go. Now I can see it, but now I have to move mine. Yeah. Huh? Uh, oh, no. Uh, 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 that. They yeah. blur it for you on this. Oh yeah. God. You're lucky. <laughs> I could have got the original. I want to get you, too. I, I think we each have a good mouthful, and, and uh, we have some good fun. That's right. Well, you, you're, not, you're not hard on the eyes, and I like your personality. Yeah. Let me put it this way. You're, oh you're my not God. coarse or gruff, but you're not pansy either. You're just right. <laughs> just, just the kind of man I want. Nice. Yep. Gross. Especially now for me. I thought mine was going to be easier uh, at this time, but... Mm. No, I, I remember my grandmother whenever something like this happens. Oh. When I was growing up, when I was growing up, and and I had plans, and then they changed with no, for no cause that I caused, you know. Wait. And I'd complain Tom. about it. And, and my grandma used to tell me, "Well, son, she'd say, <laughs> man proposes and God about? disposes, so don't worry about it. He knows what he's doing." Tom. I yeah. Said, okay, grandma, I won't, I won't worry about it then. Is. Is he masturbating and telling <laughs> you? Yeah. Yeah. Time? Well, yeah. I mean, his grandma has nothing to do with why. They're very close to the to the top. They're not baggy. Got it. It doesn't matter how warm it gets. I okay. can be sweating like a like a black man and oh. Oh. They <laughs> that has nerves. Racist. <laughs> Oh my I didn't know that black people sweat more than everyone in the Did you know that? No. Sweat like a like a black man. <laughs> uh, oh, I love this filling. Guy. Filling like a meal? No. No. Is oh. it? Is there? That's that's my hole. That, that's where it spits. Oh. <laughs> I, I can't see. I've never never noticed it. I clean myself. Oh, Good. there's something on the hole. No, I'm. I'll check it. I'll check it. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, I can't. I can't do the camera. And yeah, I'm holding the camera. Let me see. Let me. Let me see. Let me see if I can oh, sit up here. Oh no. So it'll look down. Oh no. I'd like there to hear Mark's voice. It's not gonna get hard till I'm ready to come. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know what I? I have. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an appreciation for oh. his use of language. <sighs> God, I'm gonna be <sighs> sick. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have lunch after this. I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna fucking vomit. 
This is so <laughs> gross. I'm going to need therapy after this. <laughs> Jesus Christ, just come already. <laughs> just come already. <laughs> How long does this guy take? <laughs> Butter's <right>. creamy goo. <laughs> come, passion. Come, commitment. <laughs> come, come robbery. <laughs> <laughs> I want to oh. die. Oh. This is so horrible. Well, it's been a long time. Oh, I bet it has, buddy. I fucking bet it has. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I am all wet and sweaty. Yeah. It's like right. a black guy? <laughs> I'll do the same. <laughs> Holy all shit. Right. And with that, check out our link. To coffee brand coffee <laughs> in the description. Use code long love all caps in checkout for ten percent off. <sighs> it's good. <laughs> oh god. Now go get you some snacks. That's oh, my hole. God. It's where it spits. Peace. <laughs> You're gonna eat tissue. How did you know? I gotta get that peephole closed. Blueberry Cobbler by Coffee Brand Coffee. It's so good, it's orgasmic. Use the link in the description and the promo code LONGLOVE at checkout for 10% off. Enjoy.